The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me today, I have two actually excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is a very funny traveling comedian, none other than Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hi. Hey, yeah. fellas. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey, what's up? Nothing. Yep. I, yep. I, I picked a day to record my comedy special. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm doing it on June Today? 3rd at uh, at the Comedy Club of Kansas City. Nice. So Congratulations. I think we're going to tape two shows that night, and then we'll smush it all together. That's the idea. Hopefully it's... you got to wear the same thing, by the way. Nope. Okay, fine. Uh, but also a, a very popular guest, ladies and gentlemen, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. yeah, Earned every bit of that award. You son of a bitch. <laughs> what? Seriously. I'm sorry. You ask if I could do the show, I say no. This motherfucker gets a subpoena. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> I am a prisoner in your basement like the children. I know. I know. That's okay, though. You like to play with them every once that in a while. That just seems extreme, Scotty. <laughs> We're still happy that you're we here. <laughs> I'm sure you are. That makes two of you. <laughs> okay. Well, then that's the majority. That, yeah, it yeah, sure is. I guess democracy. Are. Yeah, I, I can't argue with that. We win. So much for that. Uh, but anyways, a lot of people have actually been requesting this episode since we have Mike on the show and uh, obviously Jeremy uh, comes on every once in a while whenever he uh, goddamn well feels I like it. I used to be on more often. What happened? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I fucking quit. Why am I here? <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like me and Mike are going to get along pretty well. Uh, Probably. Yeah. Oddly enough, I, I've only met him just a few minutes before the show, and our uh, our mincies have already synced up. So, oh, nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm gushing blood all over the place. <laughs> God. Yeah, are you? That, I, I wish girls would call it that more often. I, I, they're mincies? No. Yeah. Oh. Just gushing. Gushing, oh, okay. yeah. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I'm I, gushing blood out the puss, guys. <laughs> He's synced up. Gonna, gonna have to go ass route tonight. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Uh, but no, a lot of people have been requesting this episode ever since Mike's came on. Uh, everybody's wanting you two to be together, so uh, don't fall flat on your face. Okay. Oh, All right. Jesus Christ. I've looked <laughs> at this fucking outline for the upcoming show. I'm sure you're going to tell people we've got a great show in store for you. Yeah, no, no, he doesn't. No guarantees. No. We got a lot of uh, potential. Yeah, there's potential. If there's a chuckle in this fucking show, consider yourself lucky. All right. <laughs> Fine. Uh, but no, we got a show today. Uh, <laughs> sure see how do. I did that? Uh, but anyways, we've got some current events to go over. We got overrated or underrated and a new segment called the Laughing on the Sidelines Definitions. Uh, questions and preguntas. And uh, as always, a draft and it will knock it. Oh, well, let's wrap it all up. We have a shitty situation as well. Uh, but before we get to all of that fun stuff, uh, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. And we're going to start off with Mr. Mike Baldwin, dude. How have you oh, been? I guess I stepped on this part when I told you my comedy special thing yeah, it's before okay. you wanted me to. Well, that didn't happen let's, last week. That's in the future. Yeah, let's that's, that's correct. Over. Let's, in the future. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And my, I'll start. I'll leave. <laughs> my last week, let's see. I mowed my grandma's lawn yesterday. Nice. If, if you know what I mean. Yeah, uh -huh. of course. No, I literally, uh, yeah, used the lawnmower. It was dusty as fuck because it's been dry outside. And <laughs> I just like, I, I looked like, um, I don't know if you remember the movie, was it Volcano? Where with Tommy Lee Jones, mm -hmm. yes, and, yes. and at the end, everybody's all covered in ash, and yeah, the little yeah. boy goes, Everybody looks the same. 
<laughs> I felt like that kid at the end of that movie. I was just covered in dust from head to toe. And, nice. Uh, but yeah, as far as, uh, let's see, what did I watch? I watched Better Call Saul. The new season of that just came out okay. on Netflix. So I'm all caught up I on that. I was going to say, they had a big to-do about the series finale a while back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It ended. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was on like television sure. almost a year ago, but oh, yeah, it just okay. came out on Netflix now, and I had, I'm not paying oh, Are you for one it. of these Netflix types? I yeah. am, yes. Okay. It's, it's the next big thing, That's, I'm telling you. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be huge. Yep. They're going... It ain't going anywhere. Blockbuster's going to win that one out. <laughs> they're gonna, they're, they've got this new thing now called LaserDisc, and I'm telling you, <laughs> it's the next step Seriously? of entertainment. Yeah. Evolution. That's yeah. right. That's Just all. like a, I didn't, a I didn't disc do of shit. lasers. I yeah. would yeah. love that. It's a yeah. It's like a Chinese throwing star, except it's like just <laughs> nice. lasers in all directions as it's flying. It's a very dangerous weapon. Sure. Jeremy's wife already has the patent on that. Just so you know, disc of lasers. Yeah. So. Don't talk about my wife. Sorry. Scotty. Ouch. <laughs> I'm glad I'm in the middle. Yeah. No kidding. You to keep separate you guys away out. from each other. Uh, but what no, else I just got? want to forget she exists. Jesus. <laughs> all right. No, she's been great. What else you got there, Mike? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. I'm okay. Bo- I'm very boring. I've eaten. I cooked What'd chicken and fish, and I made homemade fish sticks. Nice. Which is, I'm just, I don't like big pieces of fish, so I'll cut it into small things and then batter it and okay. deep fry it. What what kind of fish are you using over there? Uh, Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> they're, Fair enough. They're ice cold. Man. Frozen fillets. <laughs> okay. And yeah, you can I don't that know. homemade. I, All I, right. I think it said <laughs> Pollock on it. Well, I mean, you can't ah. really, you can't home make a fish right. unless you've got a f- well, you fish in your bathtub or you something. Can, you can go out and catch a fish. Nah. Ridiculous. That's craziness. I, I grow them in my garden. Oh, do you? Uh huh. Nice. Oh, I did get a tomato hanger. Have I been here since then? No. Uh, it's it's hanging. <laughs> is it? It's hanging in is, there. Is it, grow- I, is it growing? And not yet, but I just did it a few days ago. You oh. know, so it's doing its thing. That actually sounds like it could be like dirty slang. <laughs> Dude's got a real tomato hanger on. Him. <laughs> oh, God. It sounds like you, old man balls. You that? should really use that as a pickup line. You should. I got a tomato hanging, if yep. you know what I mean. Absolutely. Ladies want to come see my tomato hanger? That's right. It gushes. <laughs> sure does. It's so, like my puss. Right. <laughs> um, so, so you have your special that you're going to film uh, yeah. in Kansas City. Correct. At the Comedy Club of Kansas City. I'm excited. And the company that's doing it is 800 Pound Gorilla. And if you look them up, they've done like a ton of other people's uh, comedy specials lately. um, I want to say, didn't they do a Crusher? Didn't they do one of his? I don't know. I think Greg Warren was the uh, last yes, one. Yes, that's, that the, that's the one. I love Greg Warren. Um, I don't know if they did a Burt Kreischer one or not, but they they definitely have a long list of, of that's awesome, good dude. specials. Mm. So I'm really excited. And for me, it's like I have albums out, and I have jokes that are on my old albums. And so now the the debate in my head is like, do I do those jokes? Cause I don't have them on video anywhere. Oh, but I don't want people that have heard my albums to be like, he's doing the, this is a 10 year old joke, you yeah. know, but it's like, eh, it's a good one. Yeah. So I don't know. I got to figure all that stuff out, but I got a month. Yeah. Or, Let me ask so. you something. Even if they have your albums, do you think they listen to them? No, but I'm, I, I have hundreds. If anybody wants one, me, I'll, I'll take one. I'm just embarrassed by it now. Like, oh, I, I, like I heard that. I do a joke. Uh, well, I don't anymore, but I have a joke on my album about, uh, and, and I've since learned to, to discuss how I prefer a woman to shave okay. beforehand. So I throw that out and then I say, I like my women. Like I like my coffee. With zero pubic hairs, okay, <laughs> which is it's a fine joke. It but, is, but on the album, I hadn't learned yet that I have to say the women you should shave part first, otherwise <laughs> it sounds pedophilia, <laughs> right? It and sure does. So on the album, I just throw it out, and you can hear a few people in the audience go, "Oh," <laughs> and I didn't even think about it at the time because it never crossed my mind. You right? know, yeah. I was talking that's... specifically about uh, of age sure. women. That's yeah. people. Who who are going out of their way to try and find a way to be offended. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. it is. But Most it also makes the be... joke go a lot better. Oh, if I'm for like, sure. Shave, ladies. That's you right. know what? Comedy's not really about the jokes. Oh, yeah? I don't I don't know. Maybe there's a reason that I don't do it anymore. So, <laughs> and that might be it. <laughs> that what, might be. What else would it be about? Mostly the intros and the outros. Oh, I like yeah. being uh, taken up on stage and uh, taken off stage by the MC. That's, that's yeah. what I really live for. Yep. 
You total, know, totally ignoring that red light. Sometimes too. I would do 45 minutes of straight silence. <laughs> and just be like, <sighs> <laughs> great. How much I time I got left? I couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, no, was that the no light? light? No. Was that the light? Yeah. Nope. Just a guy lighting a cigarette. I, I did want to say I saw a, 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 an older video of yours that popped up on my feed the other day, and you had hair. I did. I, I've had hair in my life. I, I was very impressed. Totally didn't look like you, dog. No, and I, I, I remember like shaved face too, wasn't it? Probably, yeah. yeah. I, I've, it was I've, like watching an old video of Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> when he was stunning Steve Austin. <laughs> yes, yeah. I go through phases, you okay. know. But yeah, now it doesn't grow here. It okay, grows on the sides, you know. And you ever thought about growing the horseshoe out? I've, uh, according to my uh, uh, hindsight app, which is an app that I use to remember how long it's been since I've done something, mm-hmm. uh, I shaved today for the first time in 14 days. Nice. So it was, uh, I had a little thing going, nice. but no, I don't like to be in front of people, Damn. but I do recommend the hindsight app if you'd like to know some interesting things. Okay. I trimmed my fingernails today for the first time, and I'll tell you how many days if you want to know. <laughs> I thought you said <laughs> your week was over. Jesus, there's all kinds of interesting shit. Oh, I, know. <laughs> I feel like Man. fingernail trimming is not a good part of Bro, what oh, you do this week. We're about to get into Scotty's week, and you're going to find out <laughs> that shit's fascinating. <laughs> uh, no, uh, my, my week kind of rolls into exactly what I've been doing, which I've been absolutely obsessed with golf over the last several weeks uh i I golf every day over the weekend that's kind of my new thing but i had the privilege of uh, going and uh, golfing at a country club here in town uh that is full of snooty pieces of shit wow uh yeah uh, it's called Crestview Country Club, and I hope they uh, they uh, somebody listens to this episode that like goes there. Oh no, I hate, I hate when the podcast gets personal. Oh god, do you? Okay, so you're saying like they were looking down on you and all that? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I wear those sound like just regular people. Probably, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Anybody over five seven? Well, and who meets you spends Pro- any time with you they're like oh this fucking guy i, I would consider myself a very mild manner individual very nice to anybody i meet i try to anyways that's my that's kind of the thing what choice do you have i don't you i don't get have a fucking one. fight with him you better be nice to him i don't know <laughs> i'm armed about 90 percent of the time but anyways uh yeah so we go and we golf and, and it is it's a very very upper class we had connections which is how we got out there i'm not fucking rich enough to go there no he's not i am not um, but at the same time, I, I was having a really good time golfing with, with the people that were hosting us and stuff like that. But the people that were behind us were fucking douchebags. And it's just so frustrating because we're trying to teach girls how to golf. That's base, And we know we're taking slow. So we're trying to get through the hole. And one guy hits into us. And he's playing from the tip. So he's obviously skilled enough to where he knows how far he can strike the ball. He knows his yardage for whatever club it is. He's playing from the tips. Um, so... That happened, and normally it's just like, oh, shit, sorry, not that big of a deal. No, they hit into us again, and it was not like minutes go by. It was immediately after, and so we're like, well, then fuck. So we got done with the whole let them play through. One guy came back through and was like, I am so sorry. It's my fault. Nice guy. Cool. Appreciate it. But one guy just like glared at us as he was going by, and those of you who golf with me know I'm quick. I'm fast. I don't look for my ball. I don't do any of that shit. I get that fucker done. And people that are like that are just fucking inconsiderate. And they all there's, it was a group of three and all three of them had their own fucking cart. Hmm. Like they're those kind of people. It's like, fuck you now. Fuck you. Take that Scotty and apply it to when you get behind somebody slow on the interstate. Mm hmm. You're that guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Staring him down. You are wasting my fucking time. I that's you became old man wearing a hat. I can be understanding. If it, the speed limit is 60 and they're going 55 to get on the fucking freeway, I'm a little upset, but it's like once they kind of go, that's I can get around them. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know, Scotty. You brought ladies on the fucking golf course instead of putting them in the kitchen where they're supposed to be <laughs> this at. Is true. But I, they're, if they're going 35, yeah, you're right. But anyways. What, what, what girls were you teaching to play golf? My wife. I My wife. She, I thought she already knew how to play golf. She's, she's learning more. She's getting better. How fucking uh, hard is it? You walk up with a stick, you hit the ball. <laughs> yeah. It's very fucking difficult. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but no, I, Jesus I had a Christ, first time that I shot. I mean, I'm not as good as a pro, but I shot like two over first time I ever golfed. How hard amazing. is it? It's really hard for me. It's not hard for you. It's very hard for me. 
Um, but I did that. Uh, I got wrapped up into a show that we mentioned last week on the show. None of you guys were there. So I am going to give you my suggestion show for you guys to watch if you haven't already started. And it is on Amazon Prime. And it is called Jury Duty. Have you heard of this? I have heard of it. I have Holy not watched it, but shit, I have it's great. Heard of it. it is so great. I love it so much. It's a reality show, right? Like a hidden camera. Not a hidden kind camera. Kind of a prank show. Like it's got it's actors a prank show. mixed with real people, right? Then, there is one real person. There is okay. one individual, and he has chosen to be the head juror for the jury. Everybody else is a hired they actor. I call that the foreman, Scotty. Foreman, thank you. I, mm-hmm. I didn't know it was called. I'd never head watched of the, the show. Jury. Yes, uh, but my favorite part is that there, and I got to give him a shout out because he'll never see this, but the guy that played uh, Cyclops in X-Men, yeah. Okay, do you know who I'm talking about? I yes. don't know his name. Um, James Word. Uh, Marston. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, but anyways, he is in this playing himself as the... As Cyclops? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be his, fucking good. Is is the celebrity actor that got selected for jury duty, and he's kind of a douchebag because uh-huh. he's kind of too rich and famous for all this stuff to where he calls the paparazzi on himself to try to get him out of jury duty. And it, yeah, yeah. He plays such a good douchebag, and you know just because he's doing this, he's not, and that oh, just warms my heart. It's fucking warms great my show. Heart. Oh, it's such a great fucking show. I hope he becomes super, super famous, and so does this this guy that's randomly selected, and poor guy. On this so, subject, just to, yeah. to get a little funny in, because I've read this fucking outline here. Uh, <laughs> have you guys ever been selected for Jerry Diddy? Uh, never actually selected, but had to go through the pre-deal. God, yeah. that sucks, doesn't it? Yes. And... There was a part of me that wanted to get selected on New Jersey. I got, really? I got picked to go up and like right before the start of the hearing or the selection process, they they negotiated a plea bargain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but sure. it wouldn't have been a fair trial because I got a look at the defendant behind that door. And uh, yeah, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fucking did it. <laughs> There's not. What if you're... I, what if you're like the guy that's not on the jury, but you're like the the next guy in line and you have to be there? What's that? The, the alternate, alternate, yeah. alternate, right? What if you're that guy? Then it sucks. That sucks so much. You to, still get to talk in the jury room and stuff. Oh, and do be you? Like, well, I think the, I, I'm pretty do sure, you? right? I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I have no idea. I, I, oh. I got my, my notice to serve the one time I went in for one day. I got my $10 check. Uh-huh. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, afterwards, Such like two weeks joke. afterwards, I, I'm fortunate enough that my work reimburses me for any wages that I lost out that day. Oh, so okay, okay. If, if I can provide them with, uh, you know, proof that I was, that I served jury duty. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I only had to go the one day, but there was talk of holding a bunch of us over to the <laughs> next day. Oh no. And, uh, luckily it was a low crime week. <laughs> good for that yeah. yeah yeah all right yeah i got picked for or i didn't get picked but i got called in for jury duty and uh i don't remember any of the names or anything but uh police shot a dude oh no and it was like a civil case his the dude's family was going after uh the police oh shit that and, happens a lot and i was just like uh yeah i was like open to the idea of anything you yeah. know? and i think the the lawyers wanted me to be like i like police more than i like these people oh or, for sure or whatever and i was just like i don't know like yeah. let's wait yeah. and find let's... out and they were like no nah, we need somebody that's already made up their mind yeah. more than you have yeah pretty, pretty much. and that's that's kind of one of those things it's amazing how many times just not even just cops but people are like in a home defense situation shoot somebody or somebody gets hurt while they're in the process and they get sued or their homeowner's insurance. Oh, There's fuck. a very famous case of a guy who was breaking into a house in Texas, fell through a skylight, landed on a fucking kitchen knife on the Island in the kitchen and sued the fucking homeowner and one and one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think his insurance settled. Yeah. Uh, stupid fucking shit. But anyways, that, uh, that was my week. Jeremy, Joseph, kick it off. Uh, we missed you, buddy. So we sure did. But plus you got a big announcement to make. I do. You do. Make the announcement. It's yeah, time. It's time. We brought you on here specifically for this. What let's see. Did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to be doing a very special thing coming up here before. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I will yeah, be yeah. throwing out the first pitch at a Wichita Wind Surge game, being introduced as the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball League Defensive Player of the Year uh, on May 19th, right? Yep, that's okay. it. May 19th. And um, 
I doubt any of you can make it. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. Yeah, shit. Sure. Um, I didn't even know that there was a real announcement. I was just playing along. I, I'm well, glad there was. We checked even before the show even started. I was just I, like, yep, we're good to go. Don't remember that yeah. at all. But uh, but no, we, I, I actually haven't really thought about it much. Maybe I should. <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm going to start fucking freaking out. <laughs> well, the, the sooner I start actually... Because right now that's still far enough away that it's not a reality. Something's going to happen between now and then. <laughs> sure, but uh, it's less than three weeks away. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Just, I would I would get a baseball. First yeah, of all. that's the first thing. Get get an at. You don't home think baseball. I own a fucking baseball? I Jesus. don't own a baseball, so I'm yeah, not I, really yeah, sure. I got, a, but. I got a really nice one. It's uh, signed. My my dad got it signed by some girl. Oh, baby, baby Ruthie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Damn, I still got it. Okay. But I would just practice, throw like 10 times a day leading up to that. Otherwise, you're going to fucking throw your... Your arm's going to fall off. I'm a, you're, I'm a busy man, Mike. I'm a very, very busy man. You can throw a ball 10 times. I don't throw that fast. You and know? so it's going to take it a while to get to where it's going. And you have to go pick it up yourself, too. That's part of yeah, the Yeah, now the my exercise. dog's dead. Yeah, I sure do. Oh. Thanks for bringing that I'm up, Mike. I'm sorry. I really am. I didn't know. That's all right. He died. I hit him with a baseball. Um, <laughs> Poor guy. Fastball right to the head. Yeah. He was crowding the fucking plate. Hey. I told dogs suck at fucking baseball. I don't want to get into that again. We've we've explored that. Wolves, Dog, wolves dogs are good. Wolves. Coyotes are shit. <laughs> Foxes are sly, but still, they're probably good at base stealing. Probably. But that's it. Yeah. Like Swiper, he stole. Yeah. yeah. So April, Jesus so May nineteenth, May nineteenth, May nineteenth at Riverfront Stadium here in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, we are gonna probably have everybody that we possibly can be there. Uh, I Mike won't show up. I I, I might. <laughs> oh, he might. I might. He's got to prepare for that recording. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I tend to not do things unless it's comedy sure. or comedy adjacent, or yeah. I'm getting paid. I've, okay. I've done enough stand up to know that everybody says they're going to be there, and nobody's going to fucking show it. Hey, dude. It's going to be an empty house. There's going to be eight people there. Maybe. Dude, I wanted to go. Tell me the yeah. next time. When's yeah. the next time? Oh uh, yeah. No, this is a one time deal. This yeah. Is, yeah. Make it. There was a lot of. Uh, there was a lot of dominoes that had to fall in perfect place in order for this to happen so if nobody shows up i'll be pissed uh, I, but, but i'm gonna show up opening day was a success so there's that and i think that they want to go and see it i can't decide and i'm mulling this over in my head do i really want to hand this up or do i want to play it totally straight laced like fuck yeah yeah 84 uh, defensive yeah. player of the year man. <laughs> your award is See-ball. right there you're damn oh yeah. Wow, you fished that out of the garbage. <laughs> I still have it. Yeah. How, how do you bring defense into throwing out the first pitch, though? Like, I would think not <laughs> making you? it to the plate would be <laughs> like, I defended myself. <laughs> throw, a, throw a Will Chamberlain sky hook and run as far as close as you can to make a diving catch. I'm just going to put the ball in my pocket and go home. <laughs> I'm just going to take it to whoever's catching, have them sign it. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's how I'm gonna handle this. Okay. I I really don't know what I'm gonna do here. Okay, but I'm gonna have fun with it. Well, anyway, it'll be an experience, guys. Yeah. How was uh, how have you been over the last since at least since the last time you've been on the show? I've been better than you've ever fucking been, well, that's, asshole. That's a given. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, one thing that did happen to me last week. Um, I know this is typically Derek's thing, but uh, I got I got a random text. Uh oh. From. Uh, I know it's one of these like numbers that just they reach out saying, Hey, are you this person? And then they try and loop you into some kind of a fucking deal. Um, so anyways, I get a text. This was uh, last Tuesday. Uh, hi, I'm Annie. Are you Cindy? I just said, Nope. Uh, she goes, sorry, my assistant left the wrong number. This is how I know that they must be American. Uh, it was a beautiful misunderstanding, <laughs> and I hope I didn't disturb you. I said, you're right. It was beautiful. <laughs> she said, thanks. It's always good to meet new people. My name is Anna. What is your name? I said, you literally just said your name was Annie. Now you're saying it's Anna. Which one is it? <laughs> she said, maybe I have the wrong number. My name is Annie. Annie said, we have already established that you do, in fact, have the wrong number. I once got stranded in the desert, and I got so thirsty and sexually frustrated, I ate my own shoes. It was the worst hour and a half of my life. She waited a while and said... How did that end? <laughs> I said I was She's rescued. like, all right, I'm not scamming this guy anymore. I'm legit interested. <laughs> interested. 
I said I was rescued by a small boy on a skateboard. <laughs> I took his shoes and walked home. <laughs> Are you going to fire your assistant for leaving you the wrong number? <laughs> She said, I won't do that. People make mistakes. I won't fire her for leaving the wrong number. That's too bad. I'd like to see her punished. Maybe you could hit her with a hammer or something like that. She said, it's a very small matter, and I've already contacted Cindy through email. I said, I think Cindy should be fired, too. She said, my name is Annie. What should I call you? Call me Moose. <laughs> She said, I come from Singapore and now live and work in the Los Angeles area. What about you? I don't do either of those things. <laughs> I said, there's a girl named Cindy that works for me. Is that the person you emailed? Would you like me to fire her? <laughs> she said, do whatever you think is right. Don't ask me. I said, well, based off the advice of your assistant, I think I will fire Cindy. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while now. What do you smell like? <laughs> Oh my god and then i said i smell like artificial cashews and beef <laughs> and she hasn't gotten back to me now oh, no. <laughs> this may get disruptive i don't know but i feel like during the show i should text her back <laughs> oh, and see if she responds yep. when was this last message uh tuesday oh, so okay. um, oh, wow so this is no a, last tuesday last so, tuesday so this is almost yeah. a full week hi cindy no, it's not Cindy. It's oh, Anna. No. Annie. That's Annie. right. Don't, Annie. Don't, don't be stupid. You're with right. The text Annie. back. Call her Ann Dog. <laughs> yeah. Just to like co cover all the bases. <laughs> yeah, you can call her A hole all you yeah. want. Uh, hi, Annie. I really enjoyed our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance you fired Cindy? <laughs> well, Cindy doesn't work for her. Cindy works for me. Oh, okay. Got it. And I fired her. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh anyways, um so other than that, I been working a lot. Yeah. I finally got a weekend off, uh, Easter weekend, got mm -hmm. to see some family. Other than that, I have worked every goddamn weekend. Yeah, I know. So uh I feel bad for you, dude. Uh you know what? I volunteer for it. That's the thing. I know, but you get paid to do it. I, I do. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that uh when you uh if you're wanting to get some money saved up, you know, and uh maybe have some things coming up doubling your paycheck with overtime hours and then being too tired to spend it, it's a really good way to do that sure so yeah, yeah. It's um, true. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see i really enjoyed our conversation can we talk more <laughs> <laughs> you know that's just like a dude i hope so and i India. hope so yeah I, I i love like when she said it was a beautiful misunderstanding i love it when foreign people try to speak english and they're off by just Enough. a little bit yeah and i especially love it like on porn sharing sites oh. you, you know like how there's porn hub of course you know there's porn hub. sure absolutely. um you know that's like an american company or at least run by english-speaking people but then you get ones that are like out of you know bangkok or whatever yeah where they speak just enough english but they don't quite know the right words and so like you know that they meant to put you know hot blonde with a fat ass but they <laughs> But like, you know, hot yellow hair with a large anus. Yeah. I love those. And you don't think I'm watching that? I got I to gotta see the size of that fucking thing. But yeah. uh, let's see. I, I have watched a couple of things. Okay. You want to get your reviews? Uh, I, I'm not bragging here like Mike was, but I also have Netflix. Uh. And um, I, uh, I watched uh, oh, what? The Watcher. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that? I've heard mixed reviews. I'm not interested, but I, I'm familiar with the real life story that inspired it. Yeah. Which they'll say it's based on a true story. It's inspired by the true go. story of a family who bought a house and started getting weird letters and moved out because they were creeped out. Uh, this goes into a little more drama. Um, I like Bobby Cannaval. Okay. And uh, so that's good. I also watched Inside Man. I haven't seen that. Uh, Stanley Denzel, Tucci? Right? No. Oh, no. What am I it, this about? is a series. It's a British series, uh, which always looks weird because they film stuff like on videotape still. Oh, I believe so. It. it the video, the videography of it looks different. Um, so you can always tell when you're watching something British. But it's this guy who's on death row for murdering his wife who makes no bones about doing it, but he was a criminologist and he's got mm -hmm. like hmm. this insane ability to take very little information oh, and figure things out. Meanwhile, there this there's oh, this okay. incredible no spoilers case going on in uh, England. Now I know there's that, a case going on. There, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Uh 
that he's got to try and figure out. Bruce anyway. Willis dies at the end. <laughs> What the fuck? That's dude? my callback. For, oh, you weren't here. Sorry. Oh, that's another thing uh, uh-huh. that reminds me. Mm-hmm. I bought tickets to uh, Nate Bargetti. Okay, it's oh. coming in October. Um, boy, uh, yeah, <laughs> we got that's decent it. seats in mm. the middle. Uh, tickets, I believe, were eighty six bucks a piece. Holy Jeez. shit! Uh, they had some right up front, front row, row, row A, right in the middle. Uh, take a guess how much they were. $273 plus tax. Up? Are you serious? Dude, tickets to my comedy special are free. Are yeah, <laughs> not free, but they're they're cheaper. <laughs> cheaper than that. $400 a piece. <laughs> Fucking hell. A piece. And here's the thing. I'm guessing if Nate Bargetti knew that's what they were charging, I bet you he would shit a brick. Probably. Because he probably doesn't see much of that. And I would imagine that those are like, okay, if somebody's dumb enough to pay for this, otherwise we're going to do like some sort of corporate giveaway Uh or something. And I don't know. Maybe they come with like meet and greet passes or something. He's, while I think he's one of the funniest guys out there right now, uh, he is not somebody that I necessarily am dying to meet. Right. He doesn't seem like he's just brewing with personality. Um, but yeah, it's what was really great about it was despite our tickets being $86 a piece, which comes out to what, uh, $172, $172. uh, $50 of online convenience fees. Oh, fuck that. that They don't really tell you about until checkout time. Uh, So yeah. Great. Ridiculous. Yep. 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 Uh, And it's not like they give you the option that it's at Hartman arena and there's, not like a live box office that you can go yeah, out there can, and, yeah. and save yourself that money. But, uh, so yeah. That's October. That's where I'll be. Okay. Come see me throw out the first pitch, Nate Bargatze. <laughs> and and uh, e- send emails to Nate Bargatze's team and tell them that I should open for him. Okay, that too. Even though he's yeah. probably got a guy already. Probably, yeah. Or a girl. Or a girl. Or a girl. But or- that, that reminded me of it. The um, He's got a great joke on one of his shows about how women are so great at the silent treatment mm-hmm. like it just comes so natural to him to the point where we watched that whole movie and his wife didn't talk to him and it never even occurred to us that he was dead we're just like yeah that checks out she's just not talking to him <laughs> yeah that, <laughs> that's that's how things really work they showed him getting shot in the beginning and nobody went oh he's dead oh no no it's his his wife just is being a bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck my so. favorite joke of his is about uh, his wife's like going to the airport and he's yes. like, what time's your flight? And she's like noon and it's like 1145. And he's yeah. like, you're not. He's like, I don't know how you think. But then she's like, yeah. no, my flight isn't until like two, but we're leaving at noon. And he's like, all right. So what did you think I meant when I asked that? And just the like, it, I like how he does jokes that lets mm-hmm. you like fill they, in the scene yeah. with your yeah. with your own imagination. But yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, a funny she, dude. When she said it was noon and it was like eleven thirty, she's like, "If that plane was in the airport, you couldn't make, or <laughs> it was in the driveway, you couldn't make it on time." <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he he goes, "She goes, I'm sorry that I don't talk the way you want me to talk. I want you to talk like a normal person. <laughs> don't be weird about it." <laughs> so, anyways, oh, that's uh, that's about all that I got. That's okay. It's been uh, it's been fun. We're going to move on to uh, the rest of the show. It has. Keep laughing, assholes. (laughs) No, not that fun. Uh, But no, we're going to move on to the rest of the episode that we got uh, ready for you this this great episode. This is an early showing, by the way. We're uh, doing this Monday. Uh, For a very specific reason, I'm I'm letting you guys in on a little little factoid. And here's why. Because here in Wichita, Kansas, on Tuesday, which we normally would be recording these episodes, Adam Wainwright may be throwing uh, for the Springfield Cardinals against the Wichita wind surge. And so I am hoping, please, weather, don't fuck it up, but I may actually get to see Adam Wainwright pitch, which I think that would be fucking awesome. So if any of our shit's dated, that's why. And then you can hear me bitch about the weather on next week's episode because it fucked yeah. everything up. Yeah, it's, it's going to be late by a day. Yeah. No two, but that's beside the point. Uh, but before we get on to the, the current Tomorrow's events. Tomorrow's Tuesday, oh, Scott. I know. Uh, but before we get on to the current events, we got to give a shout-out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. 
Uh, Mike Baldwin is a is a user of this. this is how he gets his uh, head nice and uh, nice and shaved. Feel it, it's smooth. Lawnmower 4.0, zero like turn. Scrotum. That's right, zero turn radius on that son of a bitch, and I used it in the shower. Is that what you used on your grandma's lawn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, I get it. Uh, but no, no, I was actually asking. Oh, when you yeah. mowed your grandma's lawn. Yeah. If that's you use the lawnmower lawn mower for, for me. It's got an adjustable LED light. It sure light. does. So yep. you can do it at night. You can peel back all of the loose skin and get it right where you need to go. It's a lawn, Scotty. Sorry. Don't yeah. get gross. They're My a sponsor. Bad. My, they, yeah, it's uh, the bluegrass is what I hear is what it is. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, but no, uh, the lawnmower 4.0 uh, helps you keep your balls and nutsack and butthole nice and groomed. Um, I use mine in the shower. It is uh, waterproof. It uh, sure is. It really is. Uh, didn't shock me or uh, cut me up, which was I was. Is very it impressive. lava proof? Um, See? I don't know if That's, much is. I don't want one. You, don't know. you know what? If it's okay, there's actually absolutely zero evidence that says it's not <laughs> lava <true>. proof. <laughs> yeah, you got to throw that bitch in a volcano. So, so and then get you don't it out have somehow. to. Just assume yeah. that it is. Yeah. And that way, next time, it, take it along. Next time you go to a volcano party, yeah. Next time you watch that movie with Tommy Lee Jones, mm-hmm. everybody looks the same. That's right. You mean Dante's I, Peak? Oh no, that's the other volcano movie that came out within a year. Of, <laughs> remember how they they did mm-hmm. several of those? They Armageddon, did Armageddon and, and Deep Impact. Deep Impact. Yeah, they yes. did Volcano and Dante's Peak. That it's was, like they were competing right. movie studios that were just like, just put it out. Yep, quick. It, that's and, right. And the the Deep Impact and Armageddon one was in the nineties. Where people didn't shave their balls. <laughs> so it was gross. It was gross. Uh, but manscaped.com has a bunch of other products to help keep your uh, body parts groomed. Uh, so do us a favor and check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order. Get free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we're still doing these commercials, even though they're probably not paying us anymore. All right. But now we get to move on to the current events that we've I've got I've been getting here. my checks. I, I know. That's that's your that's your pension. Is basically. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, that's what that severance is. pay. Yeah, your severance pay. Uh, but first things first, kick this bad boy off. Uh, breaking news, at least uh, for the day we're recording, was Aaron Rodgers officially did get traded to the New York Jets. Traded or signed? I thought he was free agent. Uh, no, there was actually an, uh, actually a trade that was involved. Uh, he the, what did the they get Jets- for him? Equipment manager. There was a bunch of moves, man. There was uh, I don't even know which picks, but the. I personally think that the Jets won this particular pick. I mean, there's even a clause in this particular trade that if um, I think if if Rodgers doesn't play like 65 percent of the plays, uh, that they even lose a pick, even on defense. Uh, yeah, that's going to be weird. Yeah, that'll little, be fun. Though. A little crazy. I, I, I bet, can't believe he put that in his contract. I, I bet there was something in his contract that was like, "I, you can't fire me no matter what I say in any interview." Right. Because I bet that had a lot to do with it. Probably. They're just like, just take it, man. Come on. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, I don't want to. Fuck you. I'm guessing that a lot of these clauses were probably the Jets covering their own ass. One hundred percent. Rodgers goes Rodgers and flakes the fuck out like True. he does a lot of times. He does that a lot. He does. Um, but do you think with him going there, do you think they'll be any bet? Well, do you think they will be a playoff team next year? Possibly. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I don't think they win the division, but they could be a wild card team. Okay. I, I, I'm going to kind of go with you on that. I kind of agree. Mike, do you care enough? Hmm. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Now we got the more fun stuff. I like this kind of stuff. This is the fun news. Uh, per uh, Denver Sportscom, did you hear Russell Wilson flips a golf cart into a bunker at Arrowhead Golf Course? Did you hear about this? I did not. I'm oh. going to assume. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was Can he I? just driving too fast? Uh, apparently, he was or driving. was he angry? I don't know. I'm going to assume that was his tightest spiral of the year. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, probably He still was. missed the fucking receiver. Yeah, missed the fairway, too. Yeah, apparently, he, he was out on a golf course with a buddy or something like that, and he totally missed uh, going over a hill directly into a bunker and rolling the golf cart. Nobody was hurt, unfortunately. Um, that sounds more fun than, I, like, yeah. n- news. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I know. Uh, all the rest of this is fun news. Like, I, I would, think that's the rich guy equivalent of, like, getting into a big tractor tire and rolling down a hill, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right. It's just a much more expensive tire. How, Absolutely. Uh, like, if I if I had been like, how was your week? And you're like, played golf. Then I'm like, all right. But if you're like, I crashed my golf cart. <laughs> now I'm interested. Trying to drive into it. Yeah. Yes. Then I'm like, all right. Tried fun to, week, man. Good job. You tried to evil Knievel a bunch. 
bunker and failed. Yeah, it just reminds me of Jackass or whatever. Yes! And, like, whoever he's playing with is just like, fucking gun it, dude. <laughs> That's right. He's like, this isn't even ours. The thing about this is, is that, okay, I'm going to guess that this wasn't some shitty club where he's playing one of those old-style three-wheeled fucking electric carts. Oh, this yeah. Is, he's got some high-dollar shit, and they make those with, like weight shifting suspension on them that makes them very hard to flip he had to have been doing something <laughs> there's more to this <laughs> probably i bet a guy that he was playing golf with told him exactly what you just said <laughs> these have independent suspension they're probably. very difficult to flip <laughs> give me the keys or he was give me the keys i'll flip the motherfucker he decided to do some fucking burpees yeah, he was, While driving. he was driving. Huh? Yeah, he probably. This is how did. much I'm getting ready for the next season, guys. So getting ready for the next season, Broncos Nation. Let's ride. Let's ride, baby. Fucking idiot. Uh, next one. Uh, this is my. This is one of my favorite uh, news stories I heard about. Uh, the judge orders an, an, the arrest of ex NFL star Antonio Brown over unpaid child support. Right. Part for the course. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> It's it's like he's going out of his way to tell the world I'm a piece of shit. Oh, he I I I am convinced this dude is just I just less than a year away from blowing his own head off. He has gone absolutely bonkers, and I know it's because of CTE. He didn't go ape shit until he had that cross route that where he got knocked the fuck out during a game, and ever since he's been nuts, nuttier than squirrel shit. I mean, yeah. it's it's not. I wouldn't say it's nuts that he hasn't. Because that's just a bill to him, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it's I, he's not He's probably like, got a guy who's supposed to handle that. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe it's just like, ah, just throw it in the stack, dude. I don't have any fucking money to pay any of this stuff. Is that is he rich still? Or oh, he, yeah. He yeah. should be. He should be with well, as much of money. Of course he should be. But, <laughs> I mean, if you make a million, what was he making? How many millions a year? Millions. Well, ten, I, yeah, tens, tens so of millions So then every of year you're like, all right, I can buy $10 million worth of shit. That's how I live. I, I guess know? that is true. I mean, I haven't heard anything about him going broke or filing for bankruptcy, but I know that that does happen to some incredibly high-paid athletes yeah. from time to time because especially when they come from nothing and then suddenly they're given all this money and they don't think it can ever run out, mm -hmm. and it, it can. Sure Lottery can. winners go broke all the fucking time. It's true. Yeah. Well, maybe this will set a precedent and we can finally get some... Uh, yeah, maybe this will teach him a lesson. <laughs> yeah. No, not for him. I'm just interested in Hunter Biden paying his child support. <laughs> oh, maybe. He, he's got a court case going on right now oh, in, with a chick in Arkansas. That's the least of that dude's worries, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it, it might be. Oh, man. Uh, but anyway, His child support's just like $400 a yeah, month. Yeah, that's it. That's all it is. <laughs> Oh, shit. Anyways, okay, we're going to move on to uh, this. I'll take that back. This is my favorite fucking story. There is an ultra marathon runner, I believe from Finland or Sweden. Her name is, uh, yeah. Jo Joesa, Joesa Zarkzewski. That's it. Um, but she, <laughs> she was disqualified from her ultra marathon of 50 miles plus for using a car during the race. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. This is not the first time this has happened. What? There's a very, very famous case. in it, it was either the New York or the Boston Marathon where this woman who was a complete unknown had not really, wasn't like a competitive marathon runner, just shows up out of nowhere with a fucking number on for like the last two miles of, of the marathon and sprints and wins the fucking thing. And was like this huge, amazing story until they saw the very clear footage of her just like coming in out of the people <laughs> and getting on. But I mean, it was on like wide world of sports and what? everything. It was back in the seventies or eighties, early eighties. I remember uh, hearing, hearing that. What? Yeah. So this has happened before. So the idea that you'd think you could do this and not get caught. Oh no. I like, Apparently, there's some backstory to this. Apparently, she was like actually feeling sick and was getting ready to bow out, and all. And they have some kind of tracker on them, like you should. Mm -hmm. But the only way that they actually caught her was because for an entire mile, uh, she ran that son of a bitch in one minute and four seconds, <laughs> or forty four seconds, or some shit like that. So I was like, that ah! would be a record, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, the uh, world went nuts when Roger Bannister broke the four, four minute mi mile. That's right. So yeah, um, that's the only way that they caught her. Why has anybody broken that record oh, since big time. then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, 
nobody's broken three minute mile. No, uh, no, 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 no. Which no. they say would probably kill somebody. A to, three to, minute mile? Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. I was actually a mile runner in uh, middle school, and I got my I, my best my well, record certainly in you middle speak school. On this shut up! <laughs> I'm just saying I know the race very very well. But uh, my record for middle school and actually in in my division in the state of Kansas was five minute and six seconds. That was uh, a record. It actually uh, stood for actually a little bit, maybe like five or six years or something like that, and then it got smoked. I ran the but, quarter mile in junior high, and I was one of the better like in my league and i believe i ran a 55 uh quarter mile so to run a four a sub four minute mile you have to do that four fucking times yeah, <laughs> yeah but if you can do it, it once i mean how hard is it to just keep really going, yeah you know? really hard i nah, generally I stop two steps after the fucking finish line that's how hard that is the um, the current world record for the mile is three minutes and 43 seconds Three three forty three thirteen is basically probably by yeah. a, a female, right? No, that's a male. Oh no, no, uh, the female's record is four minutes and twelve seconds. Yeah, I was just kidding. They still haven't even broke banister. Fuck that. I was just making. Yeah, a they're too busy making muffins. Inside. That's that's right. Uh, making cookies and shit. Sure, they are. Uh, but no, Stronger I just thought and better in every way. I just thought it was pretty fucking uh, funny. My my thing. It, yeah, I mean, so she she rode in a car for a mile for a mile. And then started feeling better and chose to get out. God, that's that's so weird because okay, like Matt is yeah. an ultra marathon, ultra runner. marathon runner. Yeah, um, he's getting ready to run a hundred fucking miler. Fucking that's like crazy. he's after he does his eleven marathons in eleven weeks, which I'm not sure exactly where he's at with that, but he's he's gonna start his training for this fucking hundred mile ultra marathon, which should take him about thirty six hours. I think he said. Oh, it's nuts. Yeah, yeah, which. I mean, like people, he, he only stops to eat and pee and poop. No, nope, no that <laughs> no, that he will not do. Running, yeah. <laughs> there there are some of those pros that do. I've and heard that's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> then again, I guess if this is your bread and butter. <laughs> you can't let a shit get in your way, I could, guess. Could you imagine walking into like a public bathroom where all the runners are like taken to stop a pee break? Do you think any of those guys are sitting there running in place trying to hold it and not fucking piss everywhere or shit everywhere? No, it's um, hard to shit and, pl and run in place. Maybe for you. Uh, <laughs> okay. I couldn't imagine if I were to try and run that. Like once my legs stop, yeah, they're not going again. No. And so, but anyways, these ultra marathon runners are really more about pushing themselves and holding themselves accountable. Mm -hmm. It would be like a golfer fudging on a stroke. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the whole thing is like self-honor you know oh yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. so the idea that she would do this and then try to claim she won i don't think she did oh. i think it, i think it was pretty much blatantly obvious that she that she and she apologized and stuff and yeah to her she probably wasn't even cheating yeah she was probably. just like no i'm done and they're yeah. like all right we'll take you to the hospital and then she's like wait, wait a minute hold on <laughs> nope i'm gonna do it my mom would have wanted me to continue let me out that's right i'm sorry but this lazy bitch only ran 49 miles <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, moving on. Max Scherzer gets ejected from a game because of his hands were too sticky. They said they checked the glove and checked his hands and said that he had some foreign substance on his glove and his hands. Semen. Ten game suspension. Ten game suspension ended up coming to that. Um, what do you think? Do you think he's the uh, umpire said he he goes? I've seen a lot of foreign substances on a lot of gloves. I've checked a lot of gloves. This he goes. This one left my hand sticky for three innings. He said, "This is the stickiest stuff I've ever encountered." There's no way that that is rosin and sweat. Really? So yeah, uh, I'm thinking Scherzer is full of shit on this. And really? What, it was on yeah. his hand. Like, is this a pitcher you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Oh yeah. He so. put some kind of stickum on the ball so that he could rub his pitching fingers on it so that he could get a better grip on the ball and maybe get a little more movement on his curveball because Max Scherzer is is more of a finesse. I would pitcher. like to see a, him like throw the pitch and then the ball yeah, just sticks to his hand. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Or like does the like loogie thing? Oh where, yeah, yeah, yeah. from hangs. Little Giants. Oh, sorry, like Little Giants. He's trying to sit there and he's oh like, yeah, <laughs> looks like I just jacked off an elephant. Um, that uh, wasn't Little Giants. That, that was, was that uh, was replacements. replacements yeah. But, but yeah, same concept. Same thing. Uh, I actually uh, I don't really take into context. I, I don't really take what the umpire says to be fact. I don't. I do. I do not believe the umpire. I think Scherzer has a hell of a lot more 
to lose to be considered to be a cheater than uh, than what he really needs. Uh, that's just that's just me. He was on a podcast right before this this whole ordeal happened, and uh, and talking about certain stuff, and and he would be an utter stupid. Like he would be a fool it, to attempt to do this, especially after the context of what this this podcast it was. It does seem ridiculous as he's maybe the least person who needs to cheat. Exactly. Uh, so that's why I I I until I touch that shit, I don't believe it. I think Scherzer is probably innocent, and it's probably I think is. the glove has been sent in for testing. Well, once I get the mm, test back, and, and yeah, if there's scientific evidence and the testing comes back positive for actual stickum or fucking super glue, then I'm like, okay, all right, I'm wrong. But until that happens, I, I don't believe it. Well, super glue would be fucking stupid. It would be. Yeah, it would be dry. Yeah, you couldn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, but like, um, and for a starting pitcher, a 10-game suspension ain't that big a deal. It's not. It's two weeks. It's not. 10 starts it's two starts two starts yeah, yeah. so uh anyways moving on uh let's see oh last but not least we get to talk a little bit about golf i don't know if you guys saw there was a hole in one frisbee golf no oh no thanks for fucking up my algorithm with shit that i don't want to see that i see tons of mm-hmm. uh but no uh live golf liv golf mm-hmm. uh, had a tournament over the last weekend over in australia down under mm-hmm. right and uh Jesus oh, shut the fuck up uh, Chase Kepka uh, aces uh, one of the holes. I believe it was hole 17. And uh, Burt Kreischer was down there. Actually, par five? Huh? Par five? No, par three. Oh. Yeah. That'd be more impressive if it was par Bert, five. Burt Kreischer was down there. Anyways, uh, Chase ends up hitting a hole in one. And it's in that fucking like the seating that they put around the par threes whenever it's kind of a big deal. And it was 17. This dude hits a hole in one. And I mean, beers and beers cups and shit were just being thrown out everybody's going nuts and it is not your typical fucking crowd for ba- for like it's golf. australia that was gonna happen anyway sure but i like golf it's more like, of like a happy gilmore fuck yeah. yeah it was exactly like that it was a big fucking party everybody's getting wet with beer including the players and the caddies and everybody's like chest bumping and going fuck yeah that wasn't beer scotty it wasn't what was it? Yeah. Vaginal secretion. Oh, that's, probably. Uh, but no, I, I'm like that's I want beer in Australia. I want oh, that. That's, if that's, that's fostered. golf, I want that more often. I think it's more fun that way, and it'll probably attract a, a, a wider audience. I think. I don't think the golfers prefer that. They were having a good time. That's that's why right. I was like, "Fuck yeah, this is awesome." They're not getting pissed or nothing. Everybody's just excited okay. for them. Well, they are getting paid a lot more on this live tour kind of sort of if 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 they win they're well consistently they're getting paid more but if you were a a top 10 person in the pga then technically you're actually getting paid more there i believe and i could be wrong so yeah but how many people are in the top 10 10 Uh, i tell you one i'll tell you one guy right now that's working on it me with my non-alcoholic beer all right anyways uh but that's the uh, how bad would they have kicked your ass if you'd have thrown your (laughs) non-alcoholic ipa IPA out there i don't know Probably, probably kicked my. What's ass IPA good. stand for? Indian Pale Ale. Okay, it's very hoppy, and and this is an IPNA, which is uh, non-alcoholic. It's got IPA. the N word in it. Uh, I mean, in the logo, sure, <laughs> huh? But it's non-alcoholic. Yeah, I know. It's a weird choice that they made. Mm-hmm. Huh? It is. Uh, is the A attitude? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that is current events. Uh, again. That's all the boring stuff. Now we get to have fun. Okay, can we have fun now? I was having fun already. <laughs> okay, I'm Jesus. glad. I'm can we glad. Have more so, fun. Jeremy's over there about to hang himself. That's okay. That's mm-hmm. all right. Okay, now we get to move on to overrated I'm or underrated. Impressed. I'm I, sure. I, I I skipped some stuff in my week. Recap, <laughs> okay. Really had a bad week. Yeah. Uh, but we get to go uh, with overrated or underrated. Again, if you have any suggestions for these upcoming segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or start following us on the new Twitter, which is L O T Sidelines. Uh, we appreciate that one because we get to put our dirty jokes and, and uh, Mike's story about piercing his wiener and they don't get taken down. Uh, but first one overrated or underrated single word text responses. Uh, they are uh, underrated. Okay. Yeah, I like. Uh, it depends on the context. Okay. Just like anything else, you know. But like a, a, a nice, uh, neat. <laughs> I like that. That's my go-to when somebody <laughs> sends me a big long text of information. <laughs> and I'm just like neat. The paragraph. And you write back neat. Yeah. It's, okay. It's funny though because like it depends on the person. 
Like uh, Facebook, I see this the most because you can see when the person is typing. I guess it's the same if you have an iPhone too, yeah. but like certain people will send me a message and then I'm like, all right, let me respond to this person that I don't really even want to talk to. Yep. And I hate when I hit send and then their thing pops up immediately. And I'm like, they fucking read it already. And then they start typing again. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yep. Like I thought this was over. But then at the same time, like, I'll send a message to someone that I actually want to get information to mm -hmm. and hear back from, and I'll see that they're online, and I, I'm like, why aren't you fucking reading this yet? Like, hurry up and read it. Write me back. You know? <laughs> I just, I always want what I can't have. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm going to go with this is definitely underrated. I, I, you would think I wouldn't like the single text message back when people don't want to talk to me, but I appreciate that. If you give me a single like word letter answer, if you give me the K, I'm like, all right, never texting you again. Fuck you. I, like, right. I, I don't have to. Or do at it. least it's over for now. Or, or yeah, or something like that. Or and I normally, if I get one of those, I'll wait for those motherfuckers to text me the first time ever again because I'm just like, okay, if you don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you either. That's it. It's none. But I think that's underrated because it's like it's a very good Send thing. Send Scotty one so, yeah. word. <laughs> except except if your name is Jeremy Joseph, Derek oh. Alders, Mike Baldwin, or anybody else who's been on this show. I like how iPhone lets you just do the the thumbs up or the, the thumbs heart up, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's a very common response for me. Yep, I am a very big th double thumbs up guy myself, and that is me being like nicer because I'm like I actually read your shit and I'm taking the time to look for the emoji instead of just pushing K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so that's my whole thing. If you just get K, I don't want to talk to you. If I type K, then it goes to L. So I just send L, L to people. And <laughs> there you like, go. What, what is this? That's the text equivalent of just. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's lowercase too, so it kind of looks like I. I. Yeah. <laughs> there and you go. Like, oh. You what? What are you trying to <laughs> yeah. tell me? I am done I'm talking you I'm to you. <laughs> done. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the only thing I like more than getting a one-word text is sending them. <laughs> it, I truly do. Uh, it's mostly just to fuck with people. <laughs> Uh, my wife from time to time will send me these incredibly sweet, heartfelt texts <laughs> out of nowhere about how much she loves me. And I will just type back ditto. <laughs> ditto is nice though. That's from ghost yeah. or K if K would have been yeah. funnier right there. I think because or, so. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. And, and yeah, keep it going. So yeah, I mean, typically the shorter I can keep a conversation with somebody, the better and the less words, more getting to the point. It's word economy. It's com comedy. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know, fair enough. You don't need to drown shit down with details. Right. I don't give a fuck what you had for breakfast. <laughs> okay. mm, I did have a good breakfast. Oh, did you? God, what did you have? Breakfast I'm just good. kidding. I okay. didn't. Um, didn't get up early enough for breakfast. <laughs> oh, I, I had a good lunch. Right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Your 20s underrated okay i don't have enough of them i have zero hundreds <laughs> zero hundreds i have plenty of fives but my 20s are very underrated okay, okay. all right that's fine that's not what you meant though, no it? it's not what it meant i miss my 20s man it was i guess it's like anything else like when i was in my 20s i wished that i could go back and do high school again like with the knowledge that i had in my 20s yeah. you know and now that I'm in my 40s, I'm like, God, I'd love to go back to my 20s and oh. maybe get in good shape, quit drinking then instead of when I'm 35. Mm. And like, uh, yeah, the, if you're in your 20s now, quit being a piece of shit and do that thing mm -hmm. that you know you ought to do. He's 100% correct. 20s are way, way underrated. And I think it's like... It's not towards the career thing. It's the having fun thing and doing what you want to do kind of thing. But especially for me, I really, really wish that I would have started playing golf in my 20s <laughs> or something that I really enjoyed doing because I really didn't have a whole lot of responsibilities, wife, you know, dogs, house payment, and all that other shit. I'm still having fun at that time, and I think that that's kind of overlooked. So I would say you're way underrated, have a really good time, and then become an adult a little bit later. So that's what I think. How about you, Jeremy? Now we're just talking about our 20s. We're not talking about being able to go back in our 20s with the knowledge we have now. Correct, right? yeah. The uh, 20s are so fucking overrated. Really? <laughs> it is, it's the fucking worst, and you think it's the best. That's what, what? That's what's so bad about it is that, 
you have an entirely different set of priorities of shit you think is important that you later find out didn't fucking matter at all. That's true. You have Isn't no that money. All of typically. life, though. Uh, no. Like no. you go all well, through school and and then you get out and you're like, all right, so why did I need to learn fucking uh, algebra? Al- algebra, or, or, or why did or, I need to read a Hatchet? Yeah, or, or like what? What did that give the me? The Pythagorean you know? theorem, a, a whole bunch I, of. I math can tell shit. you exactly what that gave you. That gave you the ability to learn how to sit through incredibly boring <laughs> shit that you don't want to have to, and learn how to just do shit you don't want to do. That's what that's supposed to actually teach you. Okay, and you use algebra more than you'd think. Yeah, you do. But that, that anyways, but like you know, there are just so many things that I used to freak out about that like now are just. No big fucking deal, like a plumbing leak, or if the pilot light goes out yeah. in something, I, I know what the fuck to do now. And and I sat there in my 20s just judging people who were older than me. Like, the, the ways that I've changed, like if I went through a really nice neighborhood with really nice houses, my immediate thought was, oh, these rich fucking pricks. <laughs> now I look at it and I'm like, wow, these people must have worked really fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, they're in your that, neighborhood, Jeremy. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you work yeah. hard, I yeah. assume. Yeah, he I didn't probably know they have like a job or now, something. Now right? I'm just like, oh, I didn't know they were letting those people in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, now I'm now I'm the guy who calls the cops on that shit car <laughs> that that comes through. No, I just I I had absolutely zero common sense, absolutely zero direction in life. My twenties were not. I at the time I thought I was having fun. Uh, turns out that i really didn't need to be having that fun there was a lot of other <laughs> shit i would be so much better off the i i don't know anybody over the age of 40 who wouldn't like to go back and find their 20 year old self and just slap the <laughs> shit out of them i know yep i'm that guy too the drugs were fun though <laughs> it's a wild ride man i kept my temple clean i uh drank a lot yeah is that too. a drug yeah yeah yes. oh, yeah 100 yeah. a lot of trucker speed Oh, okay. that count? That, yeah, I would say that's, that's yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. It's the stuff they made drugs out of. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and aspirin. I took some aspirin. That's okay for that's a headache, though. Chewable. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Flintstones. Sure, that, that's vitamin. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next Go one. On. Get to the next. Uh, I'm going. I'm trying ruined, to. You've ruined the momentum. You've ruined the fucking show. That's what I do. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is from Instagram. This is actually from a listener. He uh, wanted to have this one figured out, and he uh, asked or wants to know. Overrated or underrated, swiping right on Tinder without looking. You want me to go? Yeah, this is your wheelhouse. So what the overrated. fuck is Tinder? I'm like, dating site. I don't want to do that at all. Ever? I no. I mean, it's. What if they have a really good personality? <laughs> I don't care. I've already <laughs> got enough people that I don't <laughs> like. I know within a message or two. Like, I'm not. I can't do this long term. Yeah. You know? Like I, I don't need to add more to that, and just and I feel like I'm gonna end up hurting someone's feelings. Oh, or big something. time! Because I'll, I've uh, even I on like Facebook dating or whatever, I'll see that I have matched with someone, meaning that I have swiped on them already, and they then <laughs> swiped on me back. So now we are a match, and then I'll look at them and be like, "Why the fuck did I swipe on this person?" Yeah, like, yeah. What was I thinking? Mm-hmm. Like, what did I just look at the first picture and think that was good? <laughs> like, what the hell's wrong with me? Oh, I think they sh- we should make like a requirement or make our own dating app or something where everybody only has like three or four pictures, and they all have to be from the exact same angle and distance and. You know what I mean? Sure. So you can compare people like that. You get like a close up of the face. You get like a far away shot, like standing in front yes. of the door. You get your legs fully spread, <laughs> nude. I want to see what that vagina. Cash looks and like. prizes, baby. Yeah, and uh, and then you know something else, but taking like a, a handful of tortilla chips and like putting them <laughs> all in your mouth ma- because that's going to happen at some point. Yeah, whatever. And I don't want it to be a fucking ugly. Yeah. Chip fister. Yeah, <laughs> chip fister, huh? No one of those. And I'm single. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is bad. This is a bad idea. Uh, I I kind of know a guy that, uh, at least, because Tinder's been around for quite a while, right? Yes. Yeah. So I know whenever I was, like, in college, it was just kind of getting its momentum a little bit. Uh, and then by the time I was, like, 25, 26, already with my wife, I had a friend who was very 
how do I want to say experimental and stupid at the same time? You just cram those two together. And he's one of those dudes that had tender and would just sit there and swipe right. And man, did he get some fucking hogs out of that motherfucker. And you're in a, such a shitty situation, but in order to go onto a date, he would have actually had to talk to a whole bunch. And it was like, it was like fucking like, I don't know. It was a game to him. It was mm-hmm. almost just fun just to see, okay, what what kind of a date is this going to be? Is there going to be some fucked up shit? And he just wanted to be entertained, and so he had a great time with it. But uh, eventually, you got to end up finding one that you really like, and he never did, and he's still single to this day, as far as I know. So that's that's that my thing. So uh, overrated to me. How about Jeremy? I'm going to need Brock to speed on some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Swiping right is that that good means or bad? That's that's, that's you want good. that's you you want that you person. want that person. Right. So you're basically just saying yes without looking. You're buying sight unseen. Yep. It's like buying off a of fucking Facebook yep. marketplace. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like like buying a used mower <laughs> off Facebook marketplace. Or it might be a brand new mower. You, <laughs> you, never, know. you never know. You didn't bother to fucking look. You just told him and said, I'll, you, you messaged him and said, I'll take it. Yep. One that's been um, homeschooled their entire life that never gets let out of the house kind of a situation as well. <laughs> Overall, here's what I'm going to say is that uh, just everything about this is overrated in my opinion simply for the fact that if i'm on tinder things have gone wrong (laughs) in my life uh i am a happily married man of 19 years and so i'm not i don't know shit about tinder what if you guys end up being like one of those couples that you're looking for a thruple yeah you're looking for that unicorn right guy they call that poly jeremy i I suppose there's a chance of that. There's also a chance that I'll throw malted milk balls out of my pee hole. Um, Is there? There's a better chance than of us becoming swingers. Uh, I can tell you that. Everybody that I've known who was uh, in a swinger couple... Always Love malted milk balls. <laughs> one one of them wanted to be part of the swinger couple way more than the other one. Did. Yes, I think it's typically the result of an unhappy marriage that they can't get out of. That I think is how that mostly goes. I don't know. Right, for like sure. the guy wants her to break up with him, so he's like, "Hey, you want to go uh, fuck other yeah. people?" And she's like, "Okay." And the guy's like, "Fuck, all right, all right, I'm stuck. I guess we're doing this now." This is a way for me to fuck other chicks without losing half my shit. That's that's what that <laughs> that's typically probably. is. Um, yeah. God damn it. it! Yeah, I'm just gonna go with with overrated and Fair just enough. move on. Okay. Uh, next, I'm sure there's funny in that. I can't find it. That's okay. <laughs> overrated or underrated? Sexual favors as currency. Um, overrated. Overrated? You want you want actual money? Of course. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't want. Uh, like I've said this before, I don't like planned sexual Th- things. This is true. So yeah. I, I well, would then hate you're never going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You might. Uh, one day, if you keep swiping right on Tinder without looking at pictures, I'm not gonna. But no, I don't. I don't want to uh, have because to me that says like that the girl is like I don't want to be doing this, yeah. but I'm gonna for the other thing that I want, and I don't. I don't like Ooh. that. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. I kind of like the way those you're are going the only kind I make. Well, I was sitting here going like, okay, well, if I do something nice, which is regular chores for my wife, I get sexual favors, and that's payment for me doing chores I'm already supposed to do. However, you make a good point to where it's like, uh oh, now I'm expected to get these kind of things, which puts a lot of pressure on on you know stuff. Yeah, and I don't like that pressure either. But I'm still gonna say. Yeah, it's underrated. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying I won't take it. Yeah. I'm just saying I won't love it. Depends on who it is from swiping right on Tinder. This is true. You're right. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, this is very, very overrated. Um, wow. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, because it is not a uh, passable currency. Um, you can like, you know, like if, if I go to work. I get paid so much per hour after a couple of weeks, I get a paycheck based on those hours that I work. I can then take that money and Mm -hmm. go spend it at the grocery store. And buy goods and services. Yes. I 
You can't if, exchange if, if, a blowjob. If I mow the lawn real good and then my wife has sex with me, I can't then go to the grocery store and offer to pass that on to the checkout guy and uh, expect that he's going to take it. You can't buy baked beans with dick. <laughs> but what if what if we that, get to that point like in the last few years people have been really like you know sex work is real work and these women like yeah they i, I don't respect themselves and stuff what if you could go to the grocery store and buy like instead of paying 50 dollars for your groceries you jerk the dude off and he's like i got you yeah it's okay it's all good and you're like hey sex work is real work yeah, the dollar is absolutely plummeting right now this is why your 20s are overrated <laughs> <laughs> fair enough but see here's that's the other thing is that that currency doesn't is is not equal currency yeah you can't women can buy a lot more shit than men can right i know <laughs> nailed it 100 uh percent -huh. i have uh -huh. never ever met the moment to where i walk home and my wife just really wants the dick like ever so i gotta work for it so okay that's not true maybe every once in a while every no once no she while. never yeah ever true. okay no she like didn't a, want it in the first place a true loving wife doesn't necessarily want the dick she accepts the dick there it is as yeah. part of the whole package yeah it's that is the you. punishment that she gets for having married you thanks man appreciate uh -huh. it My okay pleasure. last one overrated or underrated a lap dance to lunch lady land by adam sandler underrated yeah yeah man that's five minutes and three seconds <laughs> oh really i mean that's a good it's better than like a you know two minute song yeah. i want to i want to have time to talk to the girl get to know her you know, <laughs> okay ask her questions and stuff and if she's like i love this song then i'm like all right that's a point for you but if <laughs> okay. she's like what is this then i'm like nope nope get off we're never gonna get along yeah. you're too young that's true. Uh, I there's no way in hell that I would be able to not laugh hysterically if somebody was trying to grind up on me to sloppy Joe, sloppy, <laughs> sloppy Joe, yeah. I could never. I not. mean, I've had sex with worse things on on television in the background. Like what? I mean, I don't know. I don't plan it out. It's just like what happens to be on, you know, and <laughs> well, like Teletubbies or what? Dude? No, not that necessarily. Okay. But just like uh, you know. Like Sean Hannity being like, today in the news. And I'm just like, yeah, take it. Take it, girl. Oh, my God. Hold on. I got to hear what Sean's saying. Oh, God. But Fox News is over now. So <laughs> that's neither here yeah, nor there. Nor there. Did you hear they fired Tucker? I heard, yeah. All right. That's no politics. That's correct. Dude, this show needs a new host. <laughs> he does. See what he's doing. Let's see what he's up to. He'd be a great host for oh, this. Oh, he could be. If he watches like podcast interviews and stuff, I think he's great. I think he's funny. I think he's going to be okay. He'd be fine. He'll probably be okay, yeah. yeah. How about you, Jeremy? God damn it. I'm going to... Well, as funny as it would be, I don't want to sexualize Sloppy Joe's and, <laughs> and Shepherd's Pie <laughs> and yesterday's meatloaf. Oh, you don't? No. Not even with Chris Farley dancing up there? Especially then. <laughs> Especially then. I, I think it would get stuck in my head so that in the future, every time I had sex, I would be like humming that. <laughs> <laughs> And as it turns out, stuff like that's a mood killer. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes. That's yeah. what you have to say to mm -hmm. come. Sloppy uh, Joe. Sloppy. Yeah. Sloppy slop, Joe. Slop, sloppy. Oh, All right. All right. I can't yeah. come unless you're wearing a hairnet. Huh? <laughs> She's like, are you ready? I made it extra sloppy, sloppy for you. Yeah. All right. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's out of the movie. Isn't it? That is out of Billy Madison. That's yep. what that's from. William. I call him William. William. Okay. William fair. Madison. Yep. yep. Uh, all right, uh, moving on. This is the new segment for this week. I like this one. This is called Laughing on the Sidelines Definitions. Basically, we're going to get just random things, but we're going to give our definition of the things that we're talking about. Again, if you have any suggestions that you want to hear uh, our definition of, go ahead and send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. First one, what is a weight loss program? Pancake shaming. <laughs> Pancake shaming? Uh -huh, pretty much, yeah. Oh, yeah, just, just yeah, talking yeah, shit? Yeah, cram another fucking mouthful in, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know that when I lost my weight this time that it just became 
I had to get over this wall of fucking shame of just the horse shit that I had been eating. Oh, yeah. And turns out nothing I ate was good for me. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know that anything that I eat now is good for me, but at least it's not all chemicals and preservatives sure. and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I went with um, taking a shit so big that your pants fit better. Yeah. Mike? Okay. Oh, uh, just uh, taking my clothes off. Yeah? Yeah. You drop some LBs. Just body right? shame yourself? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. guess... Drop some LBs. No, I just, yeah, just stepping on the scale, you know. Yeah, that's like, always oh, good. Yeah, I knew these shoes weighed 19 pounds. That's that's a really good thing for your like, uh, you know, your attitude and stuff like that. If you're weighing yourself with clothes on, just take clothes off. It helps it a little bit. Well, I got to think it's going to put you in a bad mood if you walk around with 19 pound shoes to start with. <laughs> okay, that's no, for exercise. Yeah, sure it is. Yes, yeah, that's uh, what yeah. we really need to work on yeah okay all right sorry <laughs> sorry everybody no, i like good. that sentence <laughs> work on okay next one what is stupidity uh let's see having an unwavering opinion on any particular topic and not having any basic information of said topic that is st- stupidity to me well i don't know what that means but my answer is uh, thinking that Trump didn't win the twenty? Oh my god! Right, mm. Sorry. Wow. Are you talking Donald? Yes. Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Stephen. Really? Is there Steve? Yeah, there's got to okay, be. Steve. Fair enough. Yeah. How are you, Jeremy? Uh, paying four hundred dollars to see Nate Bargatze. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All uh, right, I'm uh, getting, for, it. For, for, getting it for a a special that's going to be out on Netflix in six months. <laughs> but you get to see it live. And I might get to meet him. Maybe. Uh, next one. What is dodgeball? Society's way of thinning the herd. Yep. Yep. That's right. Mine is acceptable bullying. It 100% is. Just throw as hard as you can at that fucker's face. He deserves every bit of it. Okay. You, you throw it at the bully? Fuck yeah. Or you or, be the bully. Or me be the bullied. I don't care. Throw it as hard as you want to, fat ass. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's like... A, but it's acceptable. Yeah, because How bad the did ball you get is not... If you were playing very. dodgeball with a bowling ball or something, then oh, I'd bring be like, it the hey, fuck come on. on. Okay, yeah. honestly, if, if you're playing against a guy who can fucking wing a bowling ball like that, yeah. m- maybe you should just leave now. <laughs> that, would, that would be a fun thing to set up like wrap yourself all in pillows and or like a oh, ca- yeah. catcher's outfit or oh, yeah. whatever and then literally have like five bowling balls in sure. the middle of the yeah. arena yeah well, there's be, that. i would watch that sure there's more that. than i would watch the red heart completely harmless <laughs> oh god they're such pussies now like you can throw those red balls as hard as you can at someone's face and it's the equivalent of like the smack contest or whatever but oh, not no. even the real good ones that knock people out just oh i thought you were talking about the foam ones those foam ones are fo- oh, those are bullshit i'm talking about the rubber ones from back when we were kids yeah. from the 90s you would you could possibly oh, yeah. oh. knock a fucker out you with could those. you if you got hit in the face with one, your face, the side of your face would go numb and you would feel the imprint of those little... <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like a hard slap in the that, face, but the, that's all. It's, yeah. They're not getting a concussion or anything. There is the famous old black and white footage, that slow motion footage of that fat fucker getting shot in the belly with the cannonball. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See, I, I like to think that's what that would be like. <laughs> okay. Getting, throwing the, the bowling ball thrown at you. Okay. However, there is also that moment of triumph when the completely uncoordinated non-athletic kid somehow catches somebody's yeah. fucking ball uh-huh. yes i mean yes. sure now all he does is dress like a girl and <laughs> think about skateboards but fuck that's dodgeball right yeah guys? that's right that's dodgeball uh all right uh next one what is adulting mowing my grandma's lawn once yeah, a week that's good that makes me feel like a child adult yeah yeah that's true um Waking up early in the morning to do something you hate in order to have a paycheck. However, the side effect is when you don't have to wake up early in the morning to go to work, you still wake up at the exact same fucking time. That's adulting. I, I like waking up early and not having anything to do. I would love to sleep in till 930. Hmm. Love it. But nope, I'm up at seven. No, because I do. I call my grandma at like eleven in the morning every day. So if I wake up at like six thirty, I'm just like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah. Like four or five hours, don't have to do shit. There you go. How about you, Jeremy? 
Uh, it is a way to pat yourself on the back for doing the absolute minimum shit that society <laughs> expects of you. <laughs> okay. I paid my bills today. Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to. Good. You you're know what you get for to. that? Electricity for another month. <laughs> you're supposed to take care yes. of your kids. <laughs> right? Right. You exactly. That's from. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, that's not where that's from. I, I went with the whole different concept. But uh, yes, but same it's thing. The, yeah. yeah, same yeah. concept. Okay. I take You're, care of my kids. Because <laughs> I don't know any legitimate adult who excels at anything who calls it adulting. <laughs> they what? call it their career. Yeah, that's you know, true. Life. Yeah, no, adulting is just like I had to do laundry mm -hmm. and go to the DMV today. Yeah, that's adulting true. Adulting is so You know, hard. if you'd have worked harder, you could have paid somebody to do that fucking laundry for you. True. God, I wish I had pay to do my laundry. Mary and Asian, <laughs> they love it. They do. Uh, I will. Get okay. Me up. There you it go. Works for me. Uh, last one. What is a house cat? A prisoner. A prisoner? Yeah, it doesn't want to be. Oh. It wants to go on outside and hunt shit. Au contraire, mon frere. A house cat is a killer that you think is your pet, but in reality, you are that cat's pet, and he has a tiny chance of killing you in your sleep. That's what a house cat is. Jeremy? Jeremy? Uh, I went a whole different route. That's, okay. That's an agoraphobic uh, jazz singer. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a hip cat that does not want to leave the house. Okay. Man. It's a real fucking house cat. <laughs> real okay. cool house cat. Real cool cat. All right. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. And, uh, uh, now, yeah. based off my yeah. attorney's advice, Scotty, I don't have to answer any of your questions. Okay. Despite having been subpoenaed here. Okay. That's fair enough. Huh. Okay. I, I do. You I do? do? Yeah. Okay, you okay. do. All right. You didn't get immunity? No. No. All right. All right. First question. What new practice are the Amish starting to get behind? Go ahead, Mike. I'm uh, still thinking of something. AI. AI? Yeah, you didn't hear about that? No. Oh, yeah, no, it's big. They're, it's it's slow going, Yeah, but they're getting close. Is it ran by a hamster wheel or some shit? I don't know. Okay. Agricultural intelligence? Maybe, yeah, that's what it is. Corn that can think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't, God, I don't know how many <laughs> directions that could go. Oh, but. Jesus, yeah. Well, we have a little, we have actually a, a Amish community up here in, in the Wichita area and they are really excited about the upcoming farm animal fuck fest that we have going oh, on. Yeah, that's that coming this up. Week? Yeah, it's not oh. this week. It's next weekend is what it is. I so. would. I'd go watch that. I'm sure you would. Go. Like, there's way more dudes than I thought there was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, ostriches, all kinds of things. Just come check it out. I was thinking the dudes were going to be the animals. <laughs> Turns out it's all poor female <laughs> oh, animals. Oh, that's bad. Just getting plowed by dudes. Yep. How about you there, Jeremy? Um. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Acid wash jeans. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, they make everything out of fucking denim anyway. <laughs> let's let's put a little style to it. Okay. You, you ain't seen a real bad boy till you've seen an Amish bad boy. Yeah. Did you ever see the, the guy that says "dang" and "heck"? Yeah. Did you ever see the movie "For Richer or for Poor" with Tim Allen and uh, the girl from uh, Christy from Wichita, Kansas? I can't remember her name. Christy Alley. Alley? Yeah. Kirsty. Kirsty. Alley. Kirsty. Whatever. Scientologist, fucking crazy. Famous movie. Scientologist, an all around good <laughs> person. Uh, it was actually a pretty decent movie. It's uh, it was actually pretty funny for yeah, for what it's worth. You asked me if <laughs> I'd seen that. What in the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't what know. about me makes you think that I would have seen that fucking movie? Tim Scotty. Allen, man. <laughs> I don't know, I can't do it. Yeah, famous uh, actor. Actor. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Allen. Tim what, Allen. What else is he famous for? Yeah. Oh, dude was a legendary stand up. True. Yeah. But then uh, Home and Improvement was that his was stand well, that I was mean, that's just like with Seinfeld uh, uh, uh. and how that was basically the living yeah, incarnation man. of his. Dude, those were the good old days yeah. to be a comedian. Like it was like they discovered comedians, you know? So if, they would be like, I like this guy's act. Let's get him a stylist, a fucking uh, whatever yeah, other yeah. things, you know, like a, a booking agent. You like needed a, a sitcom. Every experienced uh, comedian that I here on podcasts and stuff. They talk about how when they were in their 20s, they got some kind of a development deal mm -hmm. and it never panned out. 
They never got sitcoms. The ones that did pan out were the ones that they made it till their 30s. Tim Allen, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, goddamn, who are some of the others? Um, Chris Rock. Roseanne. Oh, Roseanne, Roseanne Barr. Yeah, uh, Brett Butler. Um, I mean, Jay just Leno. basically every successful uh, <clears throat> sitcom of the 90s, they waited till they were a little older. They, they knew that they could get the 20 year old real fucking cheap. Yeah. And, you know, to a studio, $100,000 is nothing. And they, you know, but a, a, a 20 something is going to be like, fuck yeah, give me that. And now you're like locked into this deal and you can't leave Hollywood. And I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's a fucking ordeal. Yeah. And it never turned into anything. Yep. Yeah. All right. So uh, overrated. <laughs> no, way whatever. past that. Oh. Uh, all right. Next question. A true Cajun enjoys blank. Being an American. Okay. All right. Uh, settling in on the weekend and getting lost in a good book, man. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. Lighting off fireworks and other stuff, too, outside. You know. I don't know any Cajuns. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting on you to finish. Hunting gators. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Going to Mardi Gras. Stuff um, like that. Sure. Yeah. How about you there, Jeremy? Shiatsu massage. Um, <laughs> Shiatsu? Yeah. Why wouldn't they? I mean, it's oh, fucking delightful. It's, it's amazing. It's very relaxing. Pressure There's points. There's no reason as to why. I mean, any Cajun, <laughs> a real Cajun or not, okay. wouldn't love to just have somebody walk on their back. <laughs> <laughs> and just get a, get a rub down. Yeah, get a rub down. Where's Cajun anyway? Is that only Louisiana yeah, in America? Pretty, pretty much. Uh, no, no, they're like, Florida, Georgia. Well, but I mean, like out are they Cajun? They're from they're it, French they're in yeah. origin. Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, but I, mean, I, what is the when it's, you go to France? They're not like uh, just whipping it, up some crawfish. It's, it's like, like a, a certain like, oh, region. This is where it came. Well, from. no, they had to go where the crawfish were. <laughs> Uh, for that, but a lot of the shit is it's southern. It's a region of France. It's southern slang, like you would. It's think a contraction. Alabama and Arkansas and and Louisiana. It's that southern slang that's right down there, with some French added to it. That's what Cajun is. It that's seems oh, no, weird. no, they were they were doing that long before, and then the South kind of basically copied oh, off I know. of the Cajuns. Um, but no, it's a the word Cajun is actually it's a shortened form of of the region in France that they're from, and that's I can't right. think of the name of it right I, now. I can't either. But Nor that's, do I care. But that's why they have Florida Lees everywhere in New Orleans. That's kind of the whole thing. Uh, okay. Mm. Anyways, next one. My mama always said blank. Don't lose an extra chromosome, or don't let an, an extra chromosome get you down. That's smart. Yeah, it's a smart mom. It, it really is. Jeremy. Um, never trust a man that rapes you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if they'll do that, honestly, what won't they do? Like, if you need to borrow a wrench, you go over there, you know, I need I need a half-inch wrench, and next thing you know, you're standing there with a fucking 12-millimeter like a retard, like a, <laughs> like a fucking European retard. That's yeah. what. That's the type of thing that a guy who would rape you would do. Oh, that's awful. I hate when that happens. I do. Mm-hmm. That's. Oh. I you feel like a fucking fool. <laughs> I couldn't remember specifics, but my mom would always say threats with uh, her teeth gritted. Oh, yeah? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'd be doing something, and she'd be like, hey, stop that, and I would keep doing it, and she would go, you stop that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, so I can remember that. Anytime I'm like, if I'm talking to one of my sisters or something, if we bring up our mom, then one yeah. of us will inevitably be like, Duval, what did I say? Absolutely. Was that usually coupled with fingernails being dug into the underside of your arm? My mom didn't do that as okay. much as my dad did. He would he, but he when we got manicured. And- no, but when we would walk around, <laughs> like walmart or the mall or something my dad would just walk with his hand on the back of my oh. neck like that and then inevitably i'm a kid you know so i'd be like oh what's this and my dad would just squeeze <laughs> and i'd be like okay all right i'm not Dude, grabbing that's, stuff. that's built in safety right there <laughs> yeah it was uh i i knew it he didn't have to do it very many times before yeah. i was like all right we're going to the store i can walk by myself and i'm not gonna pick shit up did she middle name you when she did that too Oh yeah, Michael Billy Baldwin. Stop it, Michael Joseph. Okay, I was close. And yes, and uh, but if she threw in my middle name, then my last name was never there. Wonderful. Oh. Later, it was just Michael Joseph. Oh, gotcha. With yeah. gritted teeth. Yeah. I said to get up here. Okay. You and I aren't related, are we? I don't know what. Why you do we Joseph. have the same Joseph. mom? Joseph. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Which is actually my middle name. Oh. So that makes me think that we are related. Yeah, because yeah, that's how that works. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. We're about the same age. 
So close. Yeah. Yeah. Are we the same person? <laughs> we might be. I have different, different lives. Different timeline. Like yeah, if, different lives. If I didn't shave and I, yeah. And you were <laughs> maybe shorter. I'm going bald. Yeah. I, I don't know that you're that much shorter than me, are you? I don't I My chair is shorter than both it of sure you. Right yeah. Yeah. Sure it is. Sure it is. I'm just, have... I'm doing it for Scotty's I sake. insist I, on having the tall chair. I feel tall. <laughs> How tall are you, Mike? Like 5'10". Okay. So just a smidge. I'm right at six foot. Oh, yeah, that must be nice. More like 5'11", never forget. I look um, very tall on the YouTube episode, but I'm the shortest fucker here. I'm 5'7". <laughs> <laughs> but I, He sits in a booster I, seat. I sit a in a booster seat. See? Don't realize that. Yeah. Uh, well. It's actually a high chair. It is a high chair, <laughs> yeah. After uh, this is all done, we're going to use the airplane trick to spoon feed you. Uh, yeah. It's going to okay. be great. Nice. Okay, next question. The best way to resolve an argument is to blank. Lose it. Lose it. Just be like, all right. Just oh, just like you, give up. You you got it. Some, Whatever you say. Sometimes that works. Yeah. But I the way that you questioned it made me think of the other answer, which is just to go ape shit and fucking lose it. Oh. And just be like, ah, okay. And then it's like, all right, I guess we're quit, I, quit I, yelling, honey. Yeah, I think this is probably frowned upon in, in certain results, but I think they should just bust out a, a game of battleship. That's what I think should happen. You know, and that's and, and that's a pretty competitive game as long as nobody's cheating or or taking a car to, you know, do half the race and shit like that. But yeah, I think uh, I think bust out battleship and see uh, see who wins. Whoever wins battleship wins. Jeremy? Take your pants off. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. I mean nobody wants to argue with somebody who just spontaneously just starts Taking their pants off. <laughs> and I mean, you can't... I'm going to paint a picture here for you. Don't take your shoes off. <laughs> this can't be a smooth transaction. You have to take them off and struggle with getting them over oh, your ankles. shoes. Okay. And just really make a big fucking scene. Don't even say a word okay. about it. And they're going to be sitting there going, what, what are you doing? What, you, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What are you doing? And just don't pay them any attention. And I'm talking underpants too. Okay. And then just, you know... Once they're off, just look at them and be like, <laughs> what? Yeah. You win. Yeah. You will win. You Nobody will win. wants to fight, pant, uh, wants to argue with pantless guy. Yep. That's I'll up. fucking punch a dude with no <laughs> pants on. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> really? You going to let him, you going you to take that over there, Jeremy? Well, I got my pants on. Oh, okay. All right. Not We're not in an argument. We, we get along on everything. <laughs> we, we like finish each other's sentences. Okay. Sentences. You noticed? <laughs> we might be the same person. Person. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh shit! All right, last question. This one comes in from another listener. Better this is be. this is Justin uh, Heiser. Uh, he wants to know what is something you can say at a dog rescue center, but you can't say at a daycare facility. You want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. I'm really sorry. We had to put her down. Oh, that's hurt. That rough. Um, you know, I like the black one. I want the black one. Can I get the black one? Mm -hmm. Jeremy? Uh, that one there looks like good breeding stock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. We went there. We were on, we did. We were on point on that we, one. We were yeah, on point job, on fellas. that one. Speaking of dog puns. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, shit. Well, uh, the listeners that supported or submitted their question, we do appreciate uh, Justin. And then also uh, the overrated and underrated was uh, from John Whalen. So we appreciate you guys for sending those in. Uh, very, very much. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, I won last week. Thank you to all of you out there. Really sincerely do appreciate all Congrats, your votes. Man. That's great. Yeah, didn't need a recount. I barely won, though. Um, and What we, was the topic? Uh, was it food pairings? I think it was. Oh, I would have definitely won that. Food pairings was with me. Oh, no, that so was with you. you've done another one since then. Yeah. And I lost but, food pairings because fucking people are idiots, I Oh, guess, that's, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't have smart listeners. Uh, they we, don't I mean, like oh, baked beans hey. and cottage cheese mixed together. Oh, man. Fucking no. idiots. No, I apologize. Hey, hey Scotty. Yo. Uh, need to talk to you about something real quick. Can you turn his headphones down? Yeah, sure. 
They're wait, down. Wait, what do you guys? Where the fuck did you find this fucking guy? Cottage <laughs> cheese and baked beans? What the fuck? <laughs> I know. Seriously. Weird guy, man. Can't you just get a fucking hobo and make things good? Yeah. All right, turn back up. Okay, there it is. Sorry, we had to talk about fly fishing. What were you guys? <laughs> what <laughs> what was? Fly fishing. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, but no, it was 80, 80s movies. I won the 80s movies draft is the one. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I killed it with Die yeah. Hard and shit. Yeah, because you were barely born in the fucking eighties. Barely, but I I was uh, well. Uh, I'm. You're talking about the Christmas movie Die Hard. Uh, yeah, the Christmas <laughs> movie Die Hard, the Bruce Willis movie Die Hard. But anyways, oh, is he in that? Is he dead the whole not, time? Not yet. He's 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 going through some rough shit there right now. But anyway, uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines draft is going to be the worst fashion trends of all time. Uh, Because I won, I get the championship picks. Uh, Because Jeremy Joseph is a seasoned veteran, uh, he gets the sandwich picks. And uh, Mike gets... But I'm seasoned just right. Just just perfectly, actually. And because I'm a dumb (laughs) dipshit, I get to go last. Ah, Just because you're newer. No, you actually get to go first. You get the first pick. Oh. So this is going to be the worst fashioned trends of all time. And Mike, you get the first pick. You go ahead and go. Well, I'm just going by my own sure. personal history. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I thought of was the bowl cut. Damn it. Which I had. I did too. When I was Who in eighth didn't? grade. Shaved God. underneath, long on top, parted mm-hmm. in the middle, and I would do this all the fucking time. Yeah. I wanted to just get my bangs that out of my face. Hair so yeah, my hair curls. Bad. I wanted it so bad, but never had it because my hair gets so curly. So you had like the Justin Guarini. Oh, uh, okay. You know who that is? Nope. He got second place in the first season of American Idol. Okay. He's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was his last name. You're talking about a little sweet. Yeah. From the Diet Dr. Pepper commercials. That's who he is. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. Yeah, I don't know who that is now. I didn't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Jeremy Joseph, you get your first pick. Uh, the one that has always annoyed me the most, uh, bell-bottom pants. Okay. I fucking despise bell-bottoms. Really? Yeah. Who wants to fuck around with, like, a tent on their legs? Because <laughs> that's what you have. Because, like, in the 70s, I mean... Bell bottom pants were, I mean, it wasn't like the 90s remake of bell bottom pants. I mean, it was ridiculously big. Yeah. It was like you had a blanket hanging off of each fucking ankle. Okay. That it was sounds stupid. nice. Right. Does uh, it? No, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go back to back hairstyles here. There's one I have not ever had, and one I definitely did have. The first one I definitely did not have, and I. Can't believe it's fucking making a comeback. And it is the mullet. That is the dumbest fucking thing in the entire world. And if you have one today, you look silly. All right. Uh, but the next one. Or I, badass. <laughs> True. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't get it. Badasses just look badass mm-hmm. regardless of what they have. You know what okay. really makes you look badass? Smoking. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Chewing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, the next one that I definitely did have, and that is going to be frosted tips. Ah, yeah, I, I am not proud of that. That I, so as dumb. did I. Twenties overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I used to have hair. Yeah, you know, Ugh. I never did just my tips, but I dyed my whole hair and then didn't dye it for a uh, year. Yeah, you know? and then so eventually I ended up with, with frosted, frosted tips. tips. Okay, yeah. Your roots grew out. Yeah. Correct. How how about you Jeremy, your second pick? Uh one that is still in fashion today or seems to be going strong even maybe even a little stronger than when I first grew to hate it. Uh the nose piercing. Oh, really? Oh, I fucking despise a nose piercing. Like, if it's a stud in the side, I just constantly want to be like, you got some fucking dirt. <laughs> Let me just pick that off. And then the one I really can't stand is the fucking bull ring. Yeah, that one's the middle. one. Why do you want to look like livestock? And it's almost <laughs> always women. I just want to hook a toe chain to that fucking thing and drive away in my car. <laughs> Oh god, and it's not flattering. It no. really, it really it think, makes you look like a pig. You think that's what uh, Russell Wilson was doing? <laughs> Maybe trying to pull out somebody's nose ring with his golf cart, Possibly. and it was just in there so strong. Yeah, he couldn't get it out. Like man. like in movies, it would show up pulling the fucking axle out, even though that's physically impossible. Yeah, but so in in this particular case, you know, I think it just tipped over the golf cart. That's 
<laughs> not a doubt in my mind now that yeah. that's what happened. That's definitely what happened. Not I had a to doubt admit. in my mind. Yep. I am so sure of it. <laughs> okay, Mike, you get two in a row, dude. I'm sticking with eighth grade still. Okay. And I'm, I'm going uh, silk shirts. Oh, really? Really? I don't I I'm too fat. Okay. They don't they don't hug me the right way. I don't know. know. Oh, I th- always thought that they kind of covered up some fat. Yeah, cuz the rock, man, the rock made silk shirts. Well, yeah, and he's cool. such a fucking fat ass. He's fatty. Yeah. I um, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, no I'm just saying your fashion sense sucks. <laughs> and, then, and then here's another one from my, okay. my grade school slash junior high days, and that is a uh, windbreaker outfit. Ooh, man. That go. Oh, for sure. As you're walking around school. They're cool on the ski slopes, just letting you know. Do they really break wind? <laughs> they, no. <laughs> but the, the 90s. How'd pattern. you go so fast? Yeah, dude. I'm aerodynamic and shit. Uh, Jer- lightning. Yeah, that's what we used to call him. Yeah, I always thought of you as a runner third. Oh, really? Uh huh. Okay, you were a musician first, bull rider bull, second, second MMA fighter third, yeah. and then oh no, we never thought of you as that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I was just adding one. Yeah, you don't get to do that. You don't get to add to your own oh, resume. Okay. Okay. That's <laughs> up to us. Sorry. And I was like the coolest guy in the group. Is that what you guys say? Yeah. Huh. I am no. so upset that I haven't heard back from Annie. I even <laughs> sent her another text saying, I think I'm in love with you. Um, <laughs> but you think I, noticed, I scared her away? Maybe. Your, your texts are green now, and they were blue before, which oh. means this number is, is gone. It's well, I'm changed. not on his Wi-Fi. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Valid. I would never get on his fucking Wi-Fi. His Wi-Fi is toxic. You don't <laughs> use iMessage with cellular? What is, uh, you, okay, you, all those were English <laughs> words. I don't know what they mean. Are, um, or is I there mean, a setting? Is, I'm is sure there an there app? Is, is there yeah. an app to get me to that? <laughs> no, just go to settings and then go to... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, don't even waste your time. He you can't change his screen. Go to no. messages. <laughs> go to iMessage. And then, uh, yeah, cut this part of the show out. What's next? <laughs> Actually, no, this is tech time. Yeah. <laughs> is that the next next show we have? Uh, no, what is your third pick there, Jeremy? Oh, is it on me? It's on Already? you. Yeah. Oh, God. Bolo ties? Bolo ties? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. With the turquoise? Yeah. Actually, no. Can I change that? Yes, you can. Uh, I haven't gone yet. What? The fucking lace-up ropers. The ropers? Yeah, the lace-up ones. Okay. What's a roper? Cowboy boots. Lace-up yeah. cowboy boots. They're lace-up, yeah. But everybody oh. in the 90s thought they were fucking cool. In, in, when, in a place where cowboy clothes were cool anyway, if you had lace-up ropers, those were expensive. That's so hmm. fucking weird. Uh-huh. It's absolutely fucking weird. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick this one off with the uh, turtlenecks. Ah. Fuck those. Yeah. You know, like a beatnik? A what? A beatnik? I don't know what the hell that is. Like those 70s poet guys that hung out in coffee shops. And oh, turtlenecks. fuck, yeah. This is real. Why? Why? I mean, I know they're kind of supposed to serve a purpose of, like, stay warm and shit like that, but, God, they look ridiculous. Oh, yeah. In, in a, if you're fucking cold, a turtleneck is great. It's like a scarf without a scarf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like wearing a scarf without people beating you up for it. Uh-huh. You know? That's true. It's just part of your shirt. It's a scar- scarf that's par- part of your shirt. You know who could really pull off a uh, turtleneck? Bazooka Joe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. He always wore it up over his oh, face. Oh, yeah. Okay. Love that guy. Okay. Hilarious. Uh, he was kind of a big inspiration for me in, in comedy. Okay. Uh, my next pick is going to be wallet chains. Ah, nice. Fuck yeah, dude. If you had one of those, ain't no fucking guy wanting to take anything out of your wallet. So, dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. Yeah, I bet you you got some sweet credit. (laughs) (laughs) I want to steal his fucking identity. (laughs) Right. Uh, All right, it's back to you there, Jeremy. Fourth pick. Crocs. Crocs. Wait, isn't it? Aren't we going we're this going, direction? No, nope, we're going back. And now you get. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah he gets Crocs. And then uh, you get. Now your, it's me. You get your last two picks. Uh, I'm going to go Jinko jeans. I think those are still fucking cool. <laughs> really? Yes. Like it's the I same. Still. I think it's the same concept as bell bottoms. It's just too much material. I understand. But someday coming up soon. There is going to be a 90s themed party. And you're going to be glad. I'm going to be fucking set. 
because I've got them, and I'll wear my rollerblades with like a silk shirt with no undershirt <laughs> and skate right into that motherfucker. That does sound fun. <laughs> I mean, and you'll have my last pick on, <laughs> which is a, a yin yang necklace. <laughs> yin yang necklace. I definitely had a couple of those. So did I throughout my. Oh, God, we are so old. But, yes, <laughs> I had one, too, because that was like the like the ninja stuff was getting really right. cool. And I so had a full-on ninja outfit. What do you mean it was getting cool? When were fucking ninjas not cool? It was Ninjas have always been cool. Ninjas invented cool. That's we, true. we were ninjas in high school. Me and my group of friends, we were called the ninjas by the other people in high school because... Uh, it was either like our freshman or sophomore year or something, and all the seniors were having a big party, and we were all specifically not invited. Like, not that they didn't invite us. They, like, walked up to us in the hall and were like, you can't come. <laughs> so me and my group of friends dressed in all black, and a couple of us went up and knocked on the front door, like, hey, guys, we're here for the party. And they were like, they fucking came. You guys can't come. Get the fuck out of here. And everybody's paying attention to the front door, and a couple other guys snuck in the back door, and we stole their keg. Oh, and nice. And then we took it to a field, and we just drank with, like, the ten of us all night. And then Monday at school word spread that fucking ninjas broke into our house and stole our keg in the middle of our party and we were just like we're fucking ninjas so then i uh i had a job working at a and w hot dogs and more and i uh you were supposed to be 18 to, or you were supposed to be 16 what to was work the there, more but I, uh chicken sandwiches okay all right uh, I was only 14, but I wrote that I was 16 on the application, so they hired me, and they didn't check or anything. So when I actually turned 16, they thought I turned 18, and they let me be assistant manager. So I was, <laughs> I was making like a grand a week when I was like 16. Oh, so I took some of that money, and I went to the, uh, uh, oh, God, I wish I could think of what, Odyssey Martial Arts Supply in Independence, Missouri, and I bought a fucking stun gun, and I bought throwing stars, and I bought a legit ninja outfit and i wore it to a basketball game once and it was a st the rest of the story is stupid but you know what would have really made you cool what pull your turtleneck up over your face like <laughs> yeah. a real ninja would that's now, right okay on the hierarchy of foods yeah chicken sandwich comes above hot dogs not if the place is a uh, and w place oh a and w is all hot dogs and root well, they're beer. hamburgers no, it's hot dogs. We we didn't have hamburgers. You shoulda. Well, I mean, I mean, if you could make it out of chicken, I mean, not including chicken sandwiches in the in the title, that would be like calling your place Snow Cone World and also having filet mignon. Uh huh. Yeah, that's just what I'm. That's that's my opinion. Okay, yeah, that's fine. it could have been, but uh, we were busy. It's it's a damn good thing that I didn't work there. I would have never promoted you. I we would. Uh, purposely on friday and saturdays we would cook more stuff than we knew we would need because uh -huh. at the end of the night we would either throw everything away or i would put it in a bag and take it to whatever party i would go to but they are you doing that you were making a grand a week they didn't count the the uh hot dogs but they counted the buns so i wasn't allowed to take buns without oh. getting in trouble you know so i would just show up at parties with just naked hot dogs and chicken patties and people drunk people would just eat hot dogs like, with if no you get bun. pulled over how do you explain that I got, <laughs> I got a bag full of raw cooked hot or just naked cooked hot dogs uh, going to the barbecue listen, officer, officer. <laughs> i can explain this. i've had to explain worse than that i was okay. uh on halloween one year i decided to dress up as guy with no pants on uh and no. a lot of, a lot of people said i was uh looked like tom cruise uh, nobody said i looked like tom cruise <laughs> a lot of people thought that uh, my costume was trying to be tom cruise where he has the shirt where and is no he were you slutty guy with no pants on because that seems to be the trend these days i was just All customer they're I, naughty or slutty whatever i just had like a, a shirt on and a tie and a suit coat and then my socks and shoes but just boxers right okay and i got pulled or i didn't get pulled over i drove through uh uh Check Checkpoint. A checkpoint and there were like five cops standing around one of them walked up to my truck which is what i had at the time shined his flashlight in and goes 
Where are your pants, buddy? <laughs> and all four of the other cops were like, oh, we got a good one. <laughs> I was like, I have pants. They're right here. It's my Halloween costume. And you had not been drinking? No. The only answer to that question then is, mind your fucking business, pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, if only I could go back much to like, my 20s. <laughs> much like Scotty, he's going to need a fucking warrant. He wants yeah. to know where my pants are. That's right. Where are your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm getting old and I forget shit sometimes. <laughs> I was in a big rush to leave the house. Yep. All right. Well, Jeremy, you get your last pick. What's the uh, worst fashioned trend? There are so many bad There's ones. A bunch ones, man. Um, a bunch ones. A bunch of ones. Oh God damn it. Okay. I don't know that I should use this just simply because it's like too hard to explain. It's, but you know, like the. The dipshit who wears regular clothes, but he wants to look old school, so he wears a fucking fedora. Oh, the fedora hat? Yeah, but like the fedora hat, but with regular street clothes. Okay. Just so you can be that fucking guy. Okay. I, I saw a guy doing that one time who thought he was fucking cool and didn't know the difference between a fedora and a derby. Oh. And so it had the big fucking round like bowler hat top. Oh, yeah. And he looked like the penguin. <laughs> Basically, mm -hmm. that that kind of fucking hat. There, there's a big difference. Either way, I mean, it's it's like, do I want to look like a douchebag or a bigger <laughs> douchebag? And he chose bigger douchebag. If he was doing it doing it ironically, he would have been a genius. But no, he thought he was because he'd wear like the fucking the just the wife beater. Oh God, you know, yeah, look like that fucking tough guy that would be on a corner on a leaning against a lamp post flipping nickels. You uh, know that fucking guy. What's a fedora? It's a hat. It's I a, know hat. It's but. it's like the old. What were they like? The forties, fifties. Yeah, the old brimmed hats that yeah. men would wear in the in the forties and fifties with a Bert, suit. The Burt Kreischer. The Burt Kreischer hat. Oh, is he one of them guys? Yeah, he's one of them guys. I'm looking it up. It looks like a cowboy hat, sort of. It, not really. It's that a like that is more of a fedora. That's a type of fedora. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've seen some douches with those on. <laughs> yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, uh, shit. But I don't really know how to put that. Okay, you yeah. don't have to use that. I can tell you right now, I ain't using it. So if you want to pick something else, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fedora just by itself or uh, fedora with regular street, clothes? Street clothes with fedora. How are you going to fit all that on there? Fedora uh, with street clothes and you're not wearing it ironically <laughs> and you're a douchebag. <laughs> douche fedora, fedora W slash street clothes. There you go. I can I can figure it out. Pro trust me. I've been doing it now for four years. It's not my best pick. That's okay. I've had I better. think it is. Do you? I have, yes. I have tons and tons and tons just going through my head. The first thing that popped in my head, but I have two... I already have two hairstyles. Yeah. Rat tail. Oh, yeah. Fuck that, right? That's so fucking stupid. There's that one. Um, ah, God damn it. What is your deal with hair? Yeah. I don't You're know. Obsessed. You're I, talking to two. Okay. Either a, one bald man and one severely balding man. I have. What's your fucking deal? This is, you're rubbing it in. You're being a prick. You're being that dodgeball bully. Right. I got you're like, don't you hate it when you grow your hair yeah. really long? And like, I, and then, you, yeah. I, I hate, hate it, it when it's so lush and lavish. Yeah, fuck you. Look, I, here's the problem. I mean, I still wouldn't want to be you. But here's the problem. <laughs> like, I, I have this full head of fucking hair. But I never got the hair that I wanted. It was never like, like, uh, like wavy and shit. No, mine is a fucking like Jufro. Like what's that's what it turns oh, into. Jesus Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. What, I mean, <laughs> what's the I, longest you've gone without cutting it? What's uh, I, the my, longest my your hair's been? My senior year of high school, I didn't, I didn't cut it for over a year and a half, mm -hmm. and I looked like Justin Timberlake without fucking like highlights. That's cool. So no, it wasn't. It I was mean, absolutely not. No, cool. because it was on him. It was on my fucking face and head. So no, it sucked. <laughs> but so and that was like one of my other options was like nobody likes like Jufros now suck. Like you don't want that. And that's what I got called either that or pube head, one of the two. Um, but I think I, I think I'm gonna go with something that I think God never had to deal with, and that is platform shoes. Okay. I, I just don't understand. You don't like Kiss? Um, yeah, they're more boots, but yeah, still. that's still 
uh, platform. Well, boots. That's what they I'm were talking about. Certainly thick sole. No, like regular like disco shoes. Those platform disco shoes. Yeah, those that's were just regular shoes. Okay, that's like what I'm talking Kiss about. Kiss has like knee high fucking yeah, big huge like oversized army boots with a sole on them that's like six inches thick. Oh yeah, because Gene Simmons in real life is only like five seven. Right, and that's and, why he had to put yeah. those on. But the other things that I was thinking, of, so I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the platform disco shoes because that's what I'm mainly thinking of. With like a fish in it. Oh yeah, stupid. Oh yeah, and from shit I'm going to get like you, sucker. Yeah. Um, but the thing I almost picked this one cause I'm, I'm so glad this finally phased out, but do you remember like the girl booty shorts that had cutie on them and the fat mm-hmm. chicks will wear those shits? Yes. Like absolutely embarrassing yourself. Juicy. Why? Yeah. Juicy. Yeah. No shit. It's juicy. It's fat and plump. You fat fuck. <laughs> like, I can't believe that people would wear the, would buy and wear these. It reminds me of what, who is it? Lizzo right now who thinks that she's the, the beauty standard. Get the fuck out of here. You cunt. I absolutely not. Not. I'm sorry, I vented a little bit, but that's Thanks okay. Me. Thanks now for we know supporting you think of us. Ooh, woosa, motherfucker. Uh, you are yeah. not feeling good as hell. I am now. I, I'm much better now. Yeah, woosa. He, he's just yeah. gotta call Lizzo got, a cunt. And yeah, she is sure. That's that's Sucks that's his all the mantra. Negative energy. That's, yeah, but he, he's just, been doing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, what's that meditation, transcendental meditation, and that's yeah. his mantra. Yeah, yeah. Lizzo's a cunt. Lizzo's a cunt. You're she's not supposed to tell cunt, anybody, but she's a cunt. Um, but anyways, guys, that is our uh, our draft for this week. You can go and vote on Laughing on the Sidelines slash Laughing on... I'm sorry. You can go to okay. Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for your favorite list of the worst fashion trends. What were you saying, Jeremy? You know what? I was going to go with there is one exception to my bell-bottom oh, okay. rule, and that is if your ankles are just that big. Oh, okay. Well, then they're fine for that. I two. would love to see that person. I love the visual. Okay. Of that person walking around with just wearing perfectly fitting bell yeah, bottoms. Everything about them is yeah. just perfectly proportioned to you get to about halfway down the calf. Yeah. And then it just balloons out. Like all the fluid in their body has just drained down to there and yeah. it's just swung out. And, and it sways with the fabric of <laughs> sure. the bell bottom. We, we're just talking about Liz for exactly the rest of the show. That's exactly what I was going to say. The we... cankles of that fat cunt, I'm telling you, fit bell bottoms perfectly. All right. But, but anyway. Okay. But go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji of your favorite worst. Fashion trends, I guess. Um, and whoever uh, wins, get a pat on the back. Uh, but now, we get to move. From me. Oh, yeah. And also, you can also vote on uh, Twitter as well, at uh, LOT Sidelines. And I do count those votes. Um, but anyways, uh, now we get to move on to... Is that related <clears throat> to, no, the, uh, to the uh, the Tinder? No. No. Okay. okay. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. The fuck was that? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You, I wanna, just, you want to do that again? Yeah. And Legos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I thought you were going to go back and I restart. I thought you were going to change the word. No. Not say it. No, I don't want to. All right. We got to go back a ways first. That's right. We're going back in the way, way back machine, back to the year 1184, the country, Germany. Uh, there had been a longstanding feud between uh, Lord Louis III of Thuringia and Archbishop uh, Conrad of Mainz, and it had basically gotten out of control. So uh, Henry VI, who was the king of Germany at the time, called a big meeting to try to settle this dispute. Uh, this meeting took place in the Petersburg Citadel, uh, just outside of Efert, Germany, uh, and it took place on the 26th of July. And so that morning, uh, between the two houses, uh, over 100 people, showed up, or approximately 100 people showed up, different lords and nobles from the different houses, because this was such a hotly contested deal that everybody wanted in on it. And they uh, had their meeting up on the third floor of the Citadel. Uh, Problem is, is that uh, it's not a very big place. It was basically just kind of used as a lookout. Uh, There were always soldiers stationed there, so it was always manned, but uh, they didn't have 100 people on a floor. There was such little room that the king actually had to sit on a windowsill. And shortly after he did, the wooden floor gave way 
uh, from the weight of 100 people being on it. Uh, this started a cascading effect because when they crashed into the second floor with the weight of 100 people and the rubble from the third floor, they fell through the second floor down to the first floor, which they then crashed through into the latrine pit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, now, while historians are quite certain that at least some of the people were, you know, crushed or pummeled or otherwise bludgeoned to death on the way down, uh, it's estimated that at least 60 people wound up drowning in a pool of liquid human shit. Oh, and now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, you got a little smudge on your cheek. <laughs> How much of that was true? All, All of it. it. All of it. <laughs> Everyone. It's known yeah. as the uh, Erfurt uh, latrine disaster. <laughs> you said the king was sitting on the window. Did he not fall? He didn't. It made the dispute very easy to settle after that because <laughs> basically all the lords and nobles of the house were dead. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, all hundred of them died. Yeah. It's, wow. uh, but at least 60 of them drowned in, in raw sewage. Yeah, that's always so, a good yeah. way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess... It's a shitty situation. It might as well. Uh, it's perfect for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It hey, sure yeah, is. Absolutely. Sure is. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather, this is for a week, be limited to only single word texting or anytime you try to open your phone, it only recognizes you doing a yawn face or retarded face. Just that's the only way you can open your phone. So imagine all the girls that you know opening their phones with, I want the yawn face. <laughs> it's not even close. I mean, I'm, I don't care. I look like an idiot all the time, and that's kind of my personality. I'm an idiot. I'll do the text thing. You're going to do the, the single word text? Sure. Oh, man, no. I could get through a week of that easily. Oh. If it's somebody that I need to communicate with, I'll just be like, call, question mark. Okay, yeah. And then they'll either call me or be like, yeah, give me a call. Okay. And then I'll be like, I'm sorry, man, I can only do one text, one word at a time. <laughs> that's my loophole there. See? Okay, that's your loophole. And then I'll loophole. just use my normal face. To open my phone. Okay. And everybody's happy. I want I want everybody to have to participate in the yawn thing. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, we could maybe start that as like a, a fun thing. Trend. It'll take off. Hashtag it or whatever. Yeah, hashtag yawn phone or something. I don't know. Every, next time, if I have my phone nearby, when I feel a yawn coming, I'll get my camera ready and I'll get a good picture. <laughs> and then there we can go. post that picture. Like, here's how I have to open my phone. Okay. We could do that. How about you, Jeremy? I was going to go with the one word text thing until he brought that up about telling people to call you. That is literally my fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that is the last thing I would ever want is to have His to call people. Phone calls. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, Show us your yawn face. You know what? I'm still going to go with the one word texting because when they're like, can you elaborate on that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seriously <laughs> just writing one word to me? Yes. yes. <laughs> Can you do one word uh, after another? There's a 30 minute me uh, like ah, yeah. Okay. Unless they've text you in between. Right. Okay. Oh, you can do that. That seems like a good rule. Yeah. I got a one letter at a time text from an ex-girlfriend once. Oh, really? Yeah, she was in the, in the midst of an anger fit after we had broken up and said, "I'm going to destroy your fucking life one letter at a time." Oh. I send a send oh. m send. You know yeah. why, right? Uh, cuz she loved me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's she can claim that as uh having like pocket texted you rather than actually sent you a threat. Oh, even though you can, you can put the pieces of that puzzle together as far as like in court evidence. Just be she, like, what? Whoops. Yeah. So, sorry. I didn't even know I was texting. Him. No, I would think that if it, I'm not even a lawyer and I could be like, your honor. <laughs> I feel come like, on. well, I feel like lawyers don't do that. Well, enough. I am. There's not enough. Yeah. Come on. And not, uh, yeah, that is, you want to settle an argument, come on. Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's what Joe Biden tries to do. Dumbass. Come on, man. Dude, I, I, 
Ah, oh, man. There has to be some points of, of certain court cases and shit wherever somebody makes a claim like that and the other attorney goes, bullshit. You know? Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Get the fuck shit out of here. Shit does not work. in. A, if you've ever actually been in a court, like I've, I've never been in a criminal case before, but I've had to do some family court stuff sure. with my son being divorced and all that. And uh, not my son's not divorced. Um, I you got have divorced. divorced. <laughs> yeah, I, I was divorced from his mother, and so some family court issues. That and dude, that shit don't look nothing like on TV. Yeah, with, starting with the fact that there is nothing mahogany in a courtroom. No, oh, it yeah? is particle board with <laughs> shit veneer on it, <laughs> and like you know how they always have like those pictures of like sweaty water pitchers with the nice glasses uh-huh. styrofoam cups yeah for sure that's all you got <laughs> and usually they're the ones from the last court case i don't even think they clean courtrooms absolutely between cases not absolutely not all right. Right. which Shit. contaminates evidence in my opinion right so anyways yeah i'm going with one word texting okay <laughs> that's fine well ladies and gentlemen we sincerely do appreciate you guys tuning in to another episode of the laughing on the sidelines podcast uh keep doing what you're doing we sincerely do appreciate it i we want we want you to check out mr mike baldwin if you're going to be in the kansas city area when uh june 3rd for sure i'm going to be there on the first second and third but i think we're just recording on the third okay um, yeah it's not on the i just booked it like moments before i came oh okay here so i don't think it's up on the website or anything it might be by the time we uh sure put this clip out this yeah. this viral clip <laughs> that's like it goes viral because of right. the meta-ness of it and they're like he even said it was viral yeah how would he have known oh my god yeah, yeah right. We're like a nostradamus crazy um but yeah and what's the website uh, my website is uh, mikeisfunny.com. There you go. So you can check out Mr. Mike Baldwin. And any chance you get to go see him live, I, I have seen clips. I'm assuming that they are all funny. And then um, this weekend, I will be uh, at work. Yep. <laughs> go nice. and vi- go Thanks and visit Jeremy. Sure. He loves visitors. Um, Can't get in, Scotty. I know. Can uh, I come? But yeah, yeah do, sure you can. Do, Scotty can't get in. Do also set your calendars for May the 19th. Uh, pitch, uh, the first pitch I believe goes out at seven Oh five, which is a bunch of bullshit. It actually probably goes off. It probably goes out at like seven fifteen. There's a little bit of a delay eh, there. Just be there. Yeah. At but, 705. but be there at seven Oh five to see the amazing, uh, 1984 Kingman County T-ball defensive player of the year award winner. Throw out the first pitch. That'd be our very own. I was going to say, I d- I'm not throwing out the actual first pitch of the game. Yeah. Cause it would get, it, it'll be nuked well in advance. Yeah. It'd be a piss missile over to left center. Um, but Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it'd Dude, be I throw gas. Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm I sure mean, do. literally, I'll at the pump, I'll get a handful <laughs> and just fucking <laughs> yeah. throw it at people. Yeah. Uh, but do uh, market calendars. If you would like to go to that game, uh, we would sincerely appreciate you going because that is going to be a very fun inside joke that nobody else in the stadium is going to know. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you very much for being a supporter of this podcast. We really do appreciate it. And as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope you get a shiatsu massage from a gay Cajun. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, we get you. We got you. Summer's Eve. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.